blue. Oh, sorry for bursting eardrums. Hi. Sorry it took me a bit. I was trying to actually fill out the rest of my uh, screen tweets. And had to look up a character's name in-game. But, hi, how are you guys doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Yeah, I'll get some water in. Wonder how much that's gonna be abused. Glad you're doing good. Ah, bloody hell. Uh, there we go. Also, apologies if my accent gets extremely British or Irish. That's just going to happen. I can't stop it, and there's nothing we can do about it. I will be in a constant state battling between Irish and British accents. I am very sorry for the aftermath in between. But, enough messing around, and let's get into the actual game. Oh, I'm... Okay, this is going to sound a bit... Oh, sorry. So, it's, this is going to be a bit weird to explain, but... I am not... I am not Irish. In this, as far as I know, not Irish. And... I've never been to Britain. But... But... My accent is kind of a mixture of all the... All the videos and shit that I've watched throughout my life. And this accent that I have is a byproduct of listening to a bunch of Irishmen yell at each other playing golf. In case you're wondering what I'm referencing, I'm referring to, uh... <laughs> that is kind of funny, actually. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm referring to for a bunch of Irishmen yelling at each other playing golf, I'm referring to, uh, the Irish lads. Uh, Kevin, other Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. I think there was also one other Kevin in there as well. <laughs> uh, Jacksepticeye, Call Me Kevin, RT Game, Terrorizer, and Dotty Nogla. Listen to all of them yell at each other playing, playing, uh, golf is what developed my Irish accent. So if you want to thank anyone for my funny ha haha Irish accent, uh, you can blame those guys, because they kind of formulated that accent for me. Uh, there goes that music. Ah, Pete's sake, load Katwa Shoju. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. There we go. Alright, uh, and we'll do the model. Probably see it just pop up in the corner. Oh, right, I have to change the microphone uh, too. Fun times. Because I haven't used this microphone in a while. Uh, the microphone in question is my Saren Mini. I've been mostly using my headset microphone this whole time. Uh, come on. Fine, I'll full screen it. Then we'll shrink it back down. Make myself a bit louder? Alright. Like, me louder or is the music too loud? There's a very important distinction. Because I can completely make myself loud if, if need be, but... <laughs> I need to know if it's actually me being loud or if it's the music's too loud. Okay. Okay. I'm going to slowly increase this while talking. Uh, I don't know which point it will be best. So what I use for streaming is I use a mixture of gain and noise suppression. Your, your earbuds are fully up. Oh dear. Yeah, I use a mixture of a sound of a noise suppression and a vo uh, and gain to get the audio that I like. But the issue is, is that noise suppression kills my voice. And game gets to a point where I start bursting people's eardrums. So I kind of have to mix the two to make sure that people's ears don't explode when listening to my streams. But at the same time, the noise set doesn't get uh, too irritable for people's eardrums. 
Is that better? Your headset mic? Fair enough. I got the Saren Mini at like a very nice discount. I think it was like half off. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I got it like a 50% off. It was such a good deal. That's also how I got my headset as well. Both of them were really good deals. Killed my pocket at the time. But they are like really, really cheap at the time. Which was so nice. Um... Oh, it's this one. I was really confused for a moment. If you don't know what this game is, it's... Okay, I called it a dating sim, quote-unquote. A dating sim. It's te technically a visual novel. But what makes it much more unique than other ones that I played is this one's kind of inspired by... Well, inspired. It has a lot to do with disabilities and all that. Kind of shed light on a lot of them, bring awareness to a bunch. But also there's a very nice story involving all these disabilities. The main character has... Oh fuck, we looked it up last time. He has a heart condition that if he gets too stressed out, his heart rate... Or if his heart rate gets too high or too low, he'll get go into a form of cardiac arrest. Which will potentially kill him. Just a bit of context for what's happening. My favorite girl in the game, Hanako, uh, has a burn mark across half her face. Anyway, the sounds of an alarm pulls me out of my fitful slumber and into an unpleasant state of wakefulness. I linger under the blanket for a few minutes, gathering energy to rise up, We'll make excuses as for why I haven't already. Fair enough. Uh, I'm partially insane, but... I mean, I understand. Lots of people have different issues. Everyone has different struggles. Mostly gone after 17 ish years. Well, that's not, that's not too bad. I'm assuming you're referring to the speech impediment. They could be referring to dyslexia. I assumed it was speech impediment, because it's usually one that you have a lot more as a youth. Mostly because children are fucking terrible at speaking. My goodness. <laughs> not, not like as a diss to anybody who does have speech impediments, but children just fucking suck at talking anyway. Have you heard a child try and like make coherent thoughts? I live with, like, two younger siblings. Those fuckers don't even know what they're talking about half the time. <laughs> but, usually it's something that you can either grow out of or learn to deal with. But, dyslexia is kind of a harder one to do, because that's more of a brain's ability to process information. Again, to be fair, I only know lots of this from my biology and psychology classes. I could just be spouting bullshit, and you guys will be eating it up like I am a fucking saint. And you will never know the difference. <laughs> wow, older sibling gang. Nice. Do you also happen to have extreme social anxiety to the point where you don't invite other people because you're afraid that you'll be a bother to them? <laughs> uh... The only thing I don't like about this game is that I can't use Enter, I have to use Space for whatever reason. But that's a minor inconvenience. Honestly, I wouldn't mind staying here all day. School is surprisingly exhausting. After a long pause, the culture shock still has not faded yet. I think... Stuck with no one to invite. Fair enough. I... I have really extreme social anxiety for, for just starting conversations. When I'm in conversations, like you notice, I'm not very anxious. I'm very good at just speaking my mind. But when it comes to like actually trying to start conversations, I'm fucking terrified. It is the worst thing ever to try and start conversations because I don't know how. <laughs> I literally 
do not know how to start conversations at all. And I think that's kind of the thing that's made it really hard for me to keep in touch with old friends. Ending conversation? Ah. Usually for me, for ending conversation, it's like, okay, good, good to see you guys, bye. And then immediately, like, if I'm on a call, I lead the call. When hanging out with friends, I just start walking away. The ending conversations isn't bad for me. It's just the starting point, because I, I don't like being bothered. A bother to somebody. Still, despite getting the impression that skipping class is easy here, I don't think they're gonna let me get away that easily. Oh fuck! I forgot one thing for the tags. Uh, first play. No, not fucking first. First playthrough. God. There. Oh yeah, yeah. Because this is technically my first time ever playing this game. I, aside from like one ending that I saw, I know nothing about this game. Can't read people? I mean, I understand that I'm a weird person. I can really read people. No! I I hope that it's a short break. Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to have a strong, strong word to have with the ad guys. I'll wait till the ad break is done. Uh... Hey, welcome back. Yeah, if it was gonna be longer, I was gonna murder someone. But where, what point was I gonna make? Where was I last for? Oh, the reading people. I understand for a lot of people. One, thankfully, yeah. I have my ads at, like, rock bottom. You will not see any ads mostly while watching this stream. Because they are very scarce. I, I put them at the longest time possible and 15 seconds. Like, the lowest possible settings. So, if they gave you more than one, I was going to have a strong word. Anyway, for reading people, I know I'm weird because I have a pretty decent grasp on human psychology. But I do understand a lot of people don't have a uh, good understanding of other people and struggle with it. Best recommendation for that is just don't be an ass. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. People are weird. People are unpredictable. I've just learned how to predict human behavior, but... Reading people isn't an easy skill to learn, so... Personal recommendation, just ignore the reading people skill and just do your best not to be a huge jerk to people and people generally like you. There are always going to be people who hate you, but fuck those guys. <laughs> and the nurse is bound to keep breathing down my neck with the talk of exercising as well. Only ask to my friends because I know, because that's how our relationship is. Oh, I'm an asshole to everyone. <laughs> Why do you think I, I've coined the term... I hope you enjoy the next 24 hours. <laughs> to people I don't like. I I have a weird thing where it's, I just like being a... Well, I, I bother people all the time. I like make jokes and and have a go at, at funny things all, all the time. But I usually do it in nice ways. I don't try and be an asshole about it and make, them, make people feel like I hate their presence. Because I try not to. It can definitely seem like it, but I try not to. Uh, so, I eventually rise up, swallow the morning medicine, and put on my old soccer clothes. Thanks to my condition, I was exempted from taking part in gin class at Yamaku. 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 Blah. So, I didn't get it is issued with the gym un uniform. They said outfit, I prefer uniform. To the other one, the human one. So what I'm trying to do with that is I... I'm procrastinating doing it, because I... I don't like starting projects. I'm, I'm great at doing them, I don't like starting them. But that one I need to redo, because I am not satisfied with that one. So I made this like temporary middle ground one that I've, I've grown a little liking to. It's kind of fun. Bit interesting. Uh, 
I'd like I'd order something to to cover so, such cons, cons, contingency, but wearing my old soccer clothes is kind of nostalgic. I can't use them for for that anymore, so maybe they can get a new life this way, a bit like me. Yeah, I'm horrible with procrastination. It's why I haven't done any of the other art stuff that I said I was going to do for stream. Or do a bunch of the animations I said I want, want to do for streams. Or write my own music like I said I was going to do for my streams. Are you noticing pattern? <laughs> yeah, it, again, it's, it's just that I don't like starting projects again. That, that's the only thing I don't like about doing projects. I love doing them. But I just hate getting into the mood to do them. Or as a lot of things have coined it, getting into the zone. Don't like getting, getting into the zone. I like being in the zone, not getting into it. I'm, making a whole, I'm just blabbering instead of playing the game. Welcome to my streams where I talk like 13 hours about fuck all. <laughs> uh, after all, if I'm going to start taking care of myself. I can't afford to slack around. I'll start from the basics. Yes, thank you, Nightbot. Thanks for being a Sundere at the moment. Yeah, I have Nightbot and Stream Elements. There's a bunch of fun ones, including 8 Ball. I think there's... No, there's only one version of it, which is the Streamlabs one. I don't think Nightbot has an inbuilt 8 Bot. Yeah, 8 Ball. Which is why I never really use it. But you can use the 8 Ball. You got Thief with Nightbot. Fair enough. I have both. Mostly because there are some things that Nightbot could do that Streamlabs couldn't do. Well, Stream Elements couldn't do. There's some things that Stream Elements can do that Nightbot can't, so I just use both. And I have sound alerts. Fuck. I have everything. Basics which include keeping the rest of my body in shape, along with what little I can to do to strengthen my heart. Okay. Side note for this, I know, done a lot of talking. You can't strengthen your heart, per se. You can... If you do a lot of exercising, you can decrease how much your heart rate increases while exercising. It's what can help build endurance, but... You can't really strengthen a person's heart, necessarily. It's like, the only muscle that you can't really strengthen, because... It's the only muscle that always has to work. <laughs> Fun fact, the heart is indeed a muscle, for those of you who didn't take basic high school education. Now, I don't like blabbering, that's that's my thing. I've listened to my family bla blabber my entire life, so I've never been a huge fan of listening to people blabber. You didn't make it to high school? That's very unfortunate. Very sorry to hear. Gilbert is indeed a bitch. It, COVID actually brought on a fun thing I didn't know about myself. Well, I knew a bit about myself, but got so much worse after COVID, which is... One sec, I'm currently in Granola Bar. I'm very germaphobic. When I say very, I... When it comes to hugging people, I hesitate. When it come, well, it comes to... I need snap. I do. When it comes to, like, hugging people, high-fiving, uh, fist-pounding, anything that has to do with touching other people, there's always a, a moment just before doing it that I hesitate. Every single time. Just a moment of hesitation. 
could be as small as like a, a small second to as much as like a as a whole sec well as small as like a half a second to i think at most i think i got up to like three or four seconds where i just stood there staring at a person because i didn't you can only have family members fair enough but like whole seconds where i just stood there staring at the person because again very germophobic i didn't want to touch them but i didn't learn any of that until after after covid hit and i was like interacting with people and i realized i'm very very disgusted by human beings and touching them it's also why i'm not comfortable with taking my shirt off seeing other people shirtless like lots of people are are like wooing super excited that a person's taking off their shirt and like please keep it on i don't want to see that uh i don't know I've never been a huge fan of the shirt thing. It's a huge thing I don't like. I don't like seeing shirtless people. It makes me uncomfortable. Probably because I grew up watching my grandpa walk around the house with white hairy chest. And that's desensitized me from seeing shirtless people. But I don't know. Any person in general, I don't like seeing with a shirt. As Brett, I can't wear a shirt. As a voice, I can't wear a shirt, so. <laughs> uh... Anyway, maybe then I can go back to something approaching a normal life, or at least something where I'm less likely to fall over dead at any minute. But that's half the fun of living. I'm surprised I discovered that I'm not the only one pressing at the track. Is it weird? <laughs> weird Lake Lady. Not just that, but it's a face I've seen before. Hey, it's Prostatic Leg Lady. The Prostatic Leg Lady who bowled over me in the hallway yesterday, is running on the track, lithely, like a half-mechanical gazelle. Uh, well, she can't get sore ankles, which means that's, like, one, two, three muscle groups that she doesn't have to worry as much about for running. Oh, wait, no, hers is, like, middle of their upper thigh. The uh, middle of their thigh is where their legs are cut off. So, man, that's so many muscle groups that are cut off for them. Very interesting. wonder how their brain processes that information. Uh, so, fucking luckily I sprained both my ankles. I've never broken a bone or sprained a muscle. I have, however, hit my ankle against a metal bar as a kid. That was fun. Uh... Never broke broken anything though, surprisingly. Considering how much I was in fucking Boy Scouts or Scouts Canada here in Canada. But I say Boy Scouts for the internet because it's mostly Americans who see content like this. Oh, I skipped it without Oh wait, no, I've read that one. But yeah. Very interesting that her leg cuts off so many muscle groups, so she doesn't have to worry as much about uh, straining muscles. Pretty close to Canada, fair enough. Uh, here in Canada, we don't really have like a Boy Scouts. We have a Girl Scouts, but we have a Scouts Canada, which is their big, broad uh, Canadian version of Boy Scouts. That. I used to be a part of, then left because it became more babysitting, and that's fucking deplorable. What was her name again? It was a short one, but I can't remember. She seems to be running laps at a somewhat l easy lope, her prosthetic legs clanking rhythmically on the hard track surface. Wonder for what reason she has, what reason she has for running this early in the morning? It's because maybe it's something akin to mine. Nurses oppressing the. The poor girl to jog like he he is oppressing me. No, I think okay. This could be a wild guess, but it could be the same thing as a horse, which she just like. In which case, she just likes running and being active, and that's why she's out running. Wait, is that running sound effects? That does not sound like running sound effects. All it's missing now is the bed creaks. 
Maybe the occasional moan every so often, but... <laughs> So what it's supposed to be is her running, but it sounds <laughs> like your parents wrestling in the next door room. <laughs> uh. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> I haven't heard that one in a while. That Most people don't play that one. It's mostly the nuts and what was the other big one that I had that people mostly play? Bonk, yeah, that one. Oh yeah, uh, I'm just Ken, and I'm just Pete. That one's a very popular one. You'll play all of them. <laughs> Fair enough. Just take it easy, because some of them are a bit, a bit weirder than than the next. I certainly won't be here if it were for, weren't for my health. And he's prompted me to do so. And even with things being like they are, it's only because I want to get out of get it out of the way early. You give me buttons, I will press them. Funny you should say that. I have a lot of buttons on this channel, my goodness. And I add more whenever I play other games, like playing uh, Seven Days to Die. You get a whole section of buttons that you get to press that as you earn points, you can do so many fucked up shit like uh summoning zombies on my ass <laughs> not even like you can just summon full like huge armies of zombies if you save up your points long enough for se the seven days to die extension to the point where it becomes almost impossible for me to kill every single one it's ridiculous <laughs> not not for like general streaming you can you can use these points however you want yeah, over 300. I also decreased the price of all of my redeems for this first on the stream. Over 400, nice going. But yeah, I, I decreased all the price of the things, partially because nobody was using like half of them. Also because I just want my streams to be as free for the viewers as possible and not have people feel incentivized to spend money. It's also why you can always use all the sound alerts without using any bits. Because I fucking hate the bits stuff. Anyway. The fact that I, was a, I would be less likely to encounter someone who would witness my pitiful attempts in getting in shape were a merely happy accident. You're very, very welcome. I'm very glad you guys enjoy me making everything cheaper for you. It's sort of my way of showing appreciation for the fact that I'm even able to get up to 150. That's a lot of people. Like, on the rare occasions I've sp spoke to a group of over 150 people, the fact that over 150 people are watching me talk about fun things that I enjoy for no reason... Brooks up a bitch. Ah, don't worry. That's like... 50% of my followers anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> it's sad, but true. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'd leave, but it seems that my former assailant noticed me on her last lap. She waves at me cheerfully and drags over. Kawai, your name's H Hisa, right? Over 700 on Tiki Tacky. Then Tic Tac removed over 200. That sounds about right. I believe that, yeah. Also, you'll notice, yes, I lean into a father personality so much and refer to TikTok by Tiki Tacky. I also say May Mace. <laughs> I don't know why. I find it funny. It's also very funny seeing people get annoyed or weirded out that I say Tiki Tacky. The clock app. Oh no. <laughs> Not the clicky clock. 
That's how fucking apps work nowadays. You just go, a flippity flap, zip zap zoo, zap a day. <laughs> she grins, seeming, seemingly pleased that. Fuck off, orchestra. Jesus Christ. Why did you show up? <laughs> she grins, seem seemingly pleased that she remembered my name. You may not remember me. Emmy? Emmy, I knocked you over in the hall yesterday. Flat made you flan flat on your ass. Hi, Boozle. From that reaction, I think you've seen this game before. <laughs> yeah, I saw saw that it went on Steam, and I immediately picked it up as soon as it showed up. I think I literally... <laughs> I wish I was joking about this. I think I got like a few hours just after it went live onto... Uh... I see you too are a fan of Hanako. I think I picked it up like a few hours immediately after it went uh, on Steam. How can I for forget such a blunt introduction? Emmy has noticed the de has the decency to look vaguely apologetic for the moment before giggling. Yeah, sorry about that again. <laughs> really? Yeah, it just went on to Steam, and I was like, "Eh, nice. We'll check it out." I'm more annoyed that Ste uh, that Twitch does not have a separate game tag for this fucking game. That's what pisses me off. Anyway. Well... Hmm, well, so long as you don't make a habit of it, I suppose it, I'll be fine. Great. I'm not sure she realized I was joking. So the spy consolant the nurse was talking about, is that actually you? That's why... Oh. I was expecting someone from the nursing staff, to be honest. Really? How did it die? Did, did Twitch just go like, eh, fuck it, we'll just start banning random people? Ah, what are they gonna do? Complain? <laughs> what are you saying? What, are you saying I don't look like a spy? No, not really. No, it's this is more like a relief. I was afraid I would have he would have someone to watch my every move. <laughs> <laughs> Just a fucking secret service member for every person in the goddamn building. You like take one step too far or ask someone about the disability and fucking red dot shows up on your chest. It's like, oh god. I guess in the end. I wasn't special enough. <laughs> so you just like have a bullet burst through your chest. <laughs> Over 21,000 followers, but no streamers playing it. Ooh. I mean, that makes sense, but ooh. Gross. I would play it, but I don't own the game. Unless you're here to do exactly that. That sounds about right. Yeah, unfortunate that some games just die. Can only remember two now. Was one of them for Hanako? That would make sense, actually. Well, considering you like Hanako, it would make sense that you'd remember her insulting uh, nickname. Oh yeah, I cut myself on the past attempt. 
earlier today, and it's still healing. Two face like the Batman villain. I can see that. Yeah, that makes sense. It seems I should be using stories to tell people when I go live, because. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -da -boo -da. <laughs> Called Rin a carrot. That. Rin. Rin. Who is Rin again? It's been a while since I've seen the other one, so I don't remember all their faces, gonna be honest. Well, I've gotten to the point where I'm out in the yard, and I've met, well, I've seen everyone in class. I haven't talked to all of them, but I've seen all the ones in the yard, in the class. Never seen this game before? Fair enough. It doesn't seem like it... I know, Boozle, this will sound insulting, but I, it doesn't seem like to be the game that... One of the games that are really, like, hit shit the... Shit hit the fan went super popular, like what Doki Doki ended up doing. But it does seem like it has a very cult fan base vibe. And it seems to be very popular in certain sections of the internet, so... Makes sense that you haven't encountered it yet. Oh yeah, no offense to fans of this game, but it definitely does seem like it's more of a niche that is a popular one. Stardew a few weeks ago? That's fair. Uh, when did I start playing Stardew? Has to have been like last year. They're in a separate part? Well, like uh, in the introductory like panning of the room oh she's the uh blind girl that is friends with hanako no the only other person that i can think of would be the librarian but i also know that's wrong again i haven't i haven't played this game for too long i've only played for Three hours, fuck, I have been playing it for a while. Probably not. No, I'm here for my own reasons. The nurse just asked, it, asked me if I've seen a messy-haired transfer student who looks like he's kind of lost around... No, I'm here for my own reasons. The nurse asked me if I'd seen a messy-haired transfer student who looks like he kind of got lost around, around the track. You'll understand when you meet her. Okay. Also, that is completely... Actually, no, that's not an accurate description of me at all. I look like a person who doesn't want to be talked to. It's Rin Orange. <laughs> She's just fucking Donald Trump. Orange hair. That, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I have... I have a great disability. Uh, what was it? I have to try and do a Batman voice. And try and mellow it out. <laughs> I have the best disability. The America's greatest disability. <laughs> it feels weird to try and do that. Hence the name Carrot. I have the best vengeance. My vengeance is so great. We shall make... The greatest disability ever. <laughs> uh. So, why are you down here? Emmy strikes a po dramatic pose. Training! Yeah, that I believe that, yeah. For what? Twack! That also makes sense, yeah. I have met Hanako in the library. Orange hair, though. I don't recall anyone with orange hair. Ah, I see. You're on the track team, then? And he nods enthusiastically. Yep, I was the best one of us, too. I mean, you are missing half the legs for it, but... 
Is it going to play? Hold up. God damn it, stream uh, sound effects. Hold on. This is a state of emergency, and I will have to rectify it. Hold on. Ah, 90% is close enough. Yes, thank you for reminding me, Boo, that someone has read my message. Thank you. Do not need to know it right now. Sound alerts dashboard. Pull it up. Don't you worry. We are going to get that fucking sound alert. If she doesn't show up the next few scenes, you'll just tell me what Rin looks like. Hold on. I can just search it up. What? Why am I playing around the bush? Rin. Kata. Wa shoju. Oh, I've... I'm adorable. Bitch, I'm adorable. Indeed I am. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've seen her. I'd say she's more reversed carrot, to be honest, but I can, can see the char characterization. Yeah, I've seen her. Okay. Text to speech. The fuck you mean you aren't playing my text to speech? The other ones work. Why the fuck do we not get. God damn it. Text to speech. What's broken with you now? Oh, I can only have six more. Huh. Didn't know that. There we go. Disable, re-enable. Oh wait, no, wrong one. That's Titac Flute. Fuck's sake. Let me alter text to speech. Holy shit. Let me modify it. I do in fact have a hug command. Dear God, why can't I switch something? Oh, thank God. Now I can actually see the entire screen. Let me modify any of them. Holy. Why is it this hard? To do this. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, So sorry that I can't fix it right now. I'll see what the issue is later. But my phone's like not letting me switch around with it and try and fix it. So fuck it. We're just gonna have to keep going and just hope for the best. Luckily you didn't have to spend points to actually use text-to-speech. But it's so annoying that it's broken right now. And modest about it too. Hey, you you should join up. It's great exercise, you know. I think that much activity is probably out of the question for me. Nah, I'm not sure I like running that much. <laughs> he's so he's south. No, well, bet you I'm right. Bet, bet you're wrong. Bet you're a skank. You asshole yeah. bitch I people. <laughs> I was asleep for a week, and the Nazis are invading. Well, well, the, well, the Christians are invading. And the scene. It's been two weeks, but feels like years. And you. It's so good to uh, see you, Anderson. Who is he? Mm -hmm. Better watch out for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I can do Alucard's voice pretty dang well. 
I still don't know why I can. Plus, not just, just not into organized sports, you know. He's out. Fucking stop lying. Just tell her you can't physically do it. This will less disappoint her and make her feel slightly better that you can't do it. Why do we need to lie? <laughs> Fucking. Oh my god. Okay. Boozle, I know this is a tiny bit of a spoiler, but I need to know. Does he sell actually end up telling people later on more confidently that he has a heart condition? Or does he keep playing these fucking stupid games and make people think that he chooses not to do things when he has a heart fucking condition? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a heart condition talking about this guy. Yes, he, he does. <laughs> no, never. No, he just keeps being a fucking ass. Yeah, that sounds about right. He tells people, he fucking better. Okay, the other thing is, Based on what I've seen of, like, the endings, is there a huge traumatic event that ends up happening? You don't- don't tell me what it is, but if there is a traumatic event, I need to know. Because <laughs> it's gonna bother me if I don't. You only tell the person whose rot you're cho you chose through, though. That's fucking bullshit. You fuck up enough. <laughs> Okay, so there's not, like, a random school shooter that'll show up, right? Like you did? Ah, I might kill all the kids. I mean, hmm. <clears throat> Teach them about love and stuff, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> so, Protestant hell, did you do that? Fuck you, that's how. That was a 70-inch plasma widescreen TV. So, how can I help you? Oh, yeah, baby, work the shaft. I excuse you? Oh, sorry. I like to talk dirty when, when someone is sucking my dick. <laughs> my first place. Through. You got the secret Kenji ending on complete accident. Nice job. You got a secret ending. Woo. Gamer score. Get. Yeah, I don't know why I'm very good, surprisingly good at doing Alucard's voice, and I don't know why. Played successful. <laughs> or raid successful. I don't know. What was I doing? Oh yeah, playing a video game. It's true, I never got that much into soccer. I mean, I run around with my friends and all, but it wasn't... I was really the only reason I was pl ever played. Failed successfully. Indeed, you got you got the secret goal. Genji's ending is the only ending that is guaranteed to end badly. All the other routes can and e can either end good, neutral, or bad. What do I have to do to get good endings? Do I actually have to try and get good endings? Or is it just possible to get the good endings anyway? Do you just like click a button it's like, Hey, you got a good ending. Or do I actually have to work for it? Because if so, I'm probably gonna fuck it up. Gonna be honest. It's me. I'm gonna either get the bad or neutral ending of my first go. And there's no in between. Uh... Okay. Well, I probably already fucked it up, but let's keep going. It wasn't for the glory to be found on the field, that's for sure. Maybe he seems to understand my meaning. I see, I see. Not that into the whole organization thing. <laughs> <laughs> You'll fuck a loser and a loner. You should really seek help for that. But now that I guess you're here, I guess we can start running together, huh? What? Uh, sure, I guess. Emmy seems pleased. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking. Okay, side note about he's so he's he fucking can't read a room for shit. Redman, I think we found your counterpart in a video game. My God, can this dude not read a room? Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> 
this this motherfucker just oh my god he is like the he is worse than the doki doki main protagonist who who already sucks at reading the room this dude can't read it at all he shows up is like it's pretty lenient until up until you experience tea time with Hanako and one of the last scenes with Kenji. Up until then, you don't need to worry about it until then. Okay. okay. Wait, who is Kenji? I think I may have already... Uh... What is one of his last scenes? Because I... I think we... <laughs> I think we may be starting uh, issues. Because we've already had tea with Hanako. So I don't know what his last one is, or what some of his ones are. And I'm very worried what where we're at for that. Okay, okay. We haven't taken a bro shower, so we're fine. Probably. I hope. Oh dear god, I hope. Are you ready to warm up? Real men don't warm up. Hisao, you have a heart condition. You will literally die if your heart rate goes too high. You will die if you get too stressed out. Why the fuck do you not want to warm up? Mm. Yeah, next time I'm probably... So what I want to do, eventually... I want to play the game normally first. Just get a feel for the game. Get an idea of how it plays. Then I want to do proper Hanako ending. Because what I want to do... Shock heart. This is actually a project I want to do. I'm going to ask for, for permission before even tempting it. Because I don't like doing those kinds of things without permission to do so. But I want to do an animation of a retelling of this story in animation form. But I do want to get... Welcome back. But I do want to get like a proper ending for Hanako. Because that's the one character that I like. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably play the Hanako ending and get that one. Because I I do want to get the Hanako ending. But... I do want to play it normally once, get a feel for the game. But this is 100%. I want to do an, a full like anime animation for this game. But I want to ask permission from the creators first. Because I... I can already tell I love this game, and I'll probably end up playing it to get every ending and 100% complete it. But I do want to ask permission before attempting to do an animation for uh, doing an anime of it. Because it's just the proper thing to do, and I don't really make money on the channel anyway, so about all I can do is just ask permission. Anyway, let's see how Hisao gets a heart, a heart attack. That sounds about right. Look, man, it's a proper thing to get permission before you do things like that. They more than likely will say yes because they already are giving a free game out. But I like asking permission before doing it because... Yeah, I'm f again, I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, you can be fucking degenerates to make a beautiful story, but... It doesn't mean that you shouldn't ask permission before doing something like an uh, a proper animation. Cut off the foot. The foot now belongs to your cat. I'm sorry, Breadman, but unfortunately, you no longer own that foot. It is now your cat's property. Oh, oh no! You should always warm up. Bad how he so. She scolds me enthusiastically, but then lean. 
then smiles and leans closer. No! <laughs> Not the arm! <laughs> well, Bradman, you're now property of your cat. I'm sorry to say, you are now subjugated. Enjoy your life being under your cat's paw. <laughs> I hate warming up, too. Almost all the devs either completely dropped out of the project, completely forgot about the game's existence, or don't have 4 chat account anymore. That, I believe that. Back to your foot, oh no. Like I said, I probably will still end up asking for permission by the devs. <laughs> your porto. But yeah, mostly because, especially for if I want to do an anime animation for it, and what I mean anime, I mean full anime, not like a, oh, I'll do like a single, single video thing. No, probably do like a full anime. Don't think you have a success at finding all the, any, at any devs to reach out to. Well, they have a website, don't they? That should lead to their, uh, official company email. Or at least should lead to it. If not, that's a terrible website design. Gotta be honest with you. Really? They don't have a company email? That's interesting. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was not expecting dicks in my face. Holy shit. Really? Uh, available free... Wait, hold on. They actually listed a Creative Commons section, so I can figure out what the... Under the following terms, must give it the proper... the appropriate credit, provide a link to the license, and in case changes were made, do so in a reasonable manner, but not in any way that suggests the licensor endorses you or your use. That makes sense. You may not use the material for commercial purposes. That makes sense. You remix, transform, or build upon the material. You may not dispute, distribute the modified material. That makes sense, yeah. No additional restrictions. You may not apply legal terms or technology measures that legally restrict others from doing anything the license permits. God damn! No warrants are given. License may not give you all the permission. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, cannot revoke these freedoms. Okay. So, from what I'm looking at, I have to provide a link to it. Obviously, I don't make money off of it. But commercial purposes. I want to check what they define as commercial uses. Commercial purposes. A commercial use is one primarily intended for commercial advantage and monetary compensation. Uh... Uh. Oh, no worries. I I do voices myself, so I fully intend to voice all of it by myself. But Okay.
Oh, I see what it means. <laughs> no, got down ad break. No additional restrictions. Okay. So that all makes sense to me. All right. So once you guys come back from the ad break, I can actually explain how it works. That makes sense. I think it's the minimum is 30. So as long as it's not more than two, it should be fine. Okay, so basically what it means for the distribution is as long as I cite it, I don't plan to turn it into a form of commercialization for my channel or don't intend to use it for... Uh, what's the best way to put it? Thanks for this gun. Thank you. I don't intend to use it for... Uh, what's the best way to put it? Endorsing the chat, my channel, or to make it seem like they endorse my channel. And... Thanks for the bong. And... If I do make a modified version, I can't pass the modified version off as my version. It has to be, I modify their thing. If that all makes sense. Thanks for the bonk. I hope that makes sense with all the gunshots and bonks that we're playing. Yep. Twitch is great for that. But yeah, as long as I... As I do all those things, I should legally be able to just dis distribute it. I would prefer to have... Did you remember to turn off NSFW scenes in the settings of this game? I'm sorry, there's what? <laughs> I'm going to quickly save to check to make sure that there isn't one on the main menu. Yes, main menu. Options. I don't see anything about NSFW. Is it extras? No. But we have almost heard all the music. Interesting. It doesn't show up in here. So, there is one thing I want to point out that would be interesting of a choice for them. On the official page of the game, there is no mention of nudity or any other NSFW... Yeah, there's no mention of NSFW things on it. So, I'd have to assume that they didn't add it. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. So... For the NSFW, is it nudity that I should be wary of? You just teleported? Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's what? Okay, is it a full scene or is it just a image? I have to know. Interesting. Just a CG. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Katawa Shujo sex scene? <laughs> I'll probably <laughs> What the fuck is this? Okay. Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I definitely will end up censoring that in-game. Oh, no, your FBI agent is going to see that. Oh, no. Okay. So, what'll... <laughs> 
Yeah. I don't know when they'll show up. But if it seems like it'll get to those scenes, I will censor the screen and I will... If, if the scene does show up, I'll just commentate of what's happening. I'm not turning it off during your original playthrough. I've got your... Your stream got flashed from Hanako's boobs. I'd believe that, yeah. But yeah, if it gets to those scenes within any of my playthroughs, I will censor the screen like I did for... South Park? God, that one was fucking weird for me. Basically, so I should explain, in that in the South Park Fractured But Whole game, I censored the entire screen and just described the events that hap were happening around me. It's very entertaining, actually. It's only like half a second, so it was fine. Fair enough. Like I said, we'll probably do, if it comes to those scenes, they'll just put my sentry image over it and just commentate over it. So it should be fine. I've probably seen worse, gotta be honest. But it's mostly just I don't want Twi Daddy Twitch to come by with their belt and hit me. I hate warming up too. She laughs suddenly. Heck, I don't even have to stretch my wakes. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's fucked, but it's so funny. As if to confirm her statement, she bounces up and down a couple of times, giving a pl passing impression of standing on a pair of springs. Her leg blades seem to be quite elastic. The fuck does she mean? Okay, so you can't see it, but she does have... Uh, best way to put it? Gazelle legs. Let's go. Made a mistake of not paying attention to Doki Doki Blue Skies settings, and your stream got flashed with Yuri's titties too. <laughs> she has no legs. Anyway. So, we both take off around the track, and I immediately see, see that she wasn't lying about being good at running. Emmy moves fluidly, throwing herself into the run with a sort of wild abandon. I find myself concentrating more on running properly. Hand spread, right? And something about hitting on the balls of your feet rather than the heels. I tried, tried to match my stride to Emmy's, but it's pretty difficult. I mean, there isn't really a great technique for running. Everything hurts when you just get into it, but... She has thighs and everything below that's mechanical. So what you're saying is... She has thick thighs that can save lives. <laughs> Apparently I'm not good at it. Maybe Emily can help me with that sometime. <laughs> Sorry. Cyborg, indeed. <laughs> I'm sorry, we have to hang out with other women more? <laughs> Zen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thick lives could save everything except the bottom half of her legs. <laughs> oh, that's fucked. <laughs> I'm, not re I'm really not feeling up to more than a couple laps today. And slow to a walk pretty quickly. God damn. <laughs> Emmy, stop having sex. God damn it. <laughs> Emmy keeps running and doesn't seem to notice I've stopped until, until she passes me a second time. She quickly skids to a halt, breathing. Dodge! <laughs> and she just s slams into me, breathing steadily in contrast to my own somewhat gasping demeanor. Hesht, already? I hang my head ru ruefully. Ruefully? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm not in very good shape right now. No pants? Nope. No pants. She... She raw dogs in those fucking short shorts. Dear God. Not even short shorts. She's wearing a fucking leotard right now. Dear God. At least wear shorts. Please. I don't even care if they're short shorts. Just... Cover up those 
those thighs. It's a fucking thong. Exactly. I don't want to see up your ass crack. Chat members kept making jokes about getting a firm handshake from Rin every time she showed up on screen. Hmm. Hmm. I see. That sounds about right. I'd believe that, yeah. Emmy nods, and then grins at me again. She seems to do a lot of smiling. What the fuck's wrong with you? Is either that or a foot job? <laughs> oh, dear God. Yeah. I mean, mine's not better. But, yeah. Well, the important thing is, you started, right? Next time, you ha have to hold on. Try to hold on longer. And then longer. And longer. And eventually, you'll be great. Well, keep that in mind. But, I think, right now, I'm gonna go get ready for class. Yours at least able to contain the terrible comments for more than half a stream. <laughs> I mean... I can make it worse, Brad. <laughs> yeah, I mean... There will always be some questionable things in a fandom. It's it's what happens. Some are far more fucking cursed, but you take what you can get. My my chat keeps trying to make me a fucking cult leader. What's the mic's name again? MC's name again? <laughs> I forgot because of how bland he is. He so. It's not that he's bland. He doesn't read the fucking room. This motherfucker has less social skills than I do. And that's fucking saying something, because I have no fucking social skills. Yeah, fellowship. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we, uh, Twitch. The Twitch moderators that have just flanked the stream. It's a fellowship. We're just friends here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Shouldn't you? Emmy shrugs unconcernedly. Ah, uh, I got plenty of time. I noticed that she's not wearing a watch. Or pants. Are you sure? Another careless shrug. Ah, boy. I gotta finish my routine. Isao vs. DDLC MC. Who wins as incompetent around women competition? Isao. Isao wins it by fucking cult classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that joke. That's great. He self fucking beats the DLC MC by a long shot. At least in Doki Doki, the main character at least can barely read a room and be able to slightly not talk about how horny he is all the time. He self fucking can't read a room fucking tries his best to ignore that someone's disabled, but still fucking points out that they're fucking disabled, and is like, talk about stupid shit, oh, this guy. Your cat is on your neck. Oh no. Careful, I, I've ha had my plethora share of cats in my lifetime. Careful of claws, dear god. Do not spook that cat. You will... You probably will have to go to the hospital if it is spooked and starts cutting. Because they surprisingly can cut pretty deep. And especially around the neck. Ooh. You saw also dresses like a fucking virgin who gets no bitches in any timeline. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. You'll be able to see what I mean during Haku's good scene. Good ending. Yeah, he's... I don't doubt it. This... This... I imagine this dude will walk out into public wearing a yellow shirt that's supposed to be white, by the way, a yellow shirt and jeans and say that he and like regular sneakers and be like, yeah, this is a good outfit to wear. Lying on your your neck paws on both ends of your bed. OK, that's fine. Just be very careful not to spook her or him, her, because you said she. You can't see yellow. Oh, no. Yeah.
，因为我也很少。Wonder if a、uh, yellow shirt. Before I wear a yellow shirt, could you see what's behind me? <laughs> Fuck! Oh, that's、uh, that. <laughs> uh, yeah. See ya. I'm not sure whether this morning's experiment was a success or a failure. I'll admit that I do feel slightly good about getting out there this morning. You also can't see blue. Why ray vision? Yellow ray vision. <laughs> the green and red receptors in your eyes don't work properly. That to the point where you can just X-ray vision through things. Yellow blue colorblind scale. Ooh. Yeah, as far as I know, I'm not color blind. I'm also not regular blind. Uh, I got eye tested a while ago, and my current pair of glasses are fake. They they're just glass. But I am way too used to wearing glasses, so not wearing glasses makes my eyes itchy. True story. It's why I wear gla glasses, like glass and glasses instead of the lenses. Cause don't look at the sun. I'll try not to. But I can't see colors at all. See everything in old timey eight eighteen hundreds movie. Ooh. And like Emmy said, I need to keep it in order. Keep at it in order to get better, right? Well,、oh, shit. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, or something like that. It's at least nice to feel like I've taken some semblance of control over my health. I have to try to keep keep this up. Head back to my dorms to wash and change into my uniform, trying to resist the urge to take really long. Hello there. Yeah, hello there, and enjoy your next twenty four hours have officially become my a part of my vocabulary, and people just treat it as though it was completely normal, and I don't know why people do that. I can't see the last four, but I very much appreciate it. Yeah. With nukes, I'd believe that. Yeah. Oh, is it that the ending is anticlimactic? I've read like the transcript of it. But it is kind of eh, reading it. At least for like ending wise, it's kind of eh. I、uh, head to the dorm to wash. Okay, I'm tired from all the running, so I just want want to unwind. I don't want to break my slow. Slowly building routine of getting back to school before the morning rush. The way he he compared his scars to hers and how they're not so different after after all. <laughs> oh no, that sounds like complete cliche bullshit. Oh my god, this fucker can't read a room. And can't talk to people. Holy shit!、Uh. After taking a long shower, anyway, I dry myself off and get out of the stall to put on on my clothes. Oh God! Okay, so this is the point of no return, right? Out of nowhere, a shadow appears in the mist, looming and radiating, ra radiating malicious intent. It bursts through the fog. Yeah. I haven't heard that duck call in forever. What are you doing here? What the hell? You scare me. What's your problem? I should be asking you that. I'm looking for you all over the place, man. What do you mean all over the place? Is he supposed to be naked? 
Oh god! Fred, why? Fred! Why? Oh dear god! This motherfucker can't read a room, can't accept his disability, can't talk to him, can't see fe people beyond their flaws, and all of and all over fucking sucks in every part of the world. True. Now she's on your leg. Oh no. What do you mean all over the place? Well, I asked if he's been hold if he's been looking for me like that. Stark naked by hold my tongue. Is this fucker supposed to be naked? If so, there must be like auto censoring in this game, but still. I mean, fair enough. On your leg, you can't die if if your cat makes a wrong move I feel like he's supposed to be naked and I'm and I was originally supposed to censor this but I'm kind of glad that we don't get to see a naked man in the shower with us I wanted to ask these if he's been looking for me like that stark naked but I hold my tongue back I finally realized I'm still naked too and quickly hold up my shirt in front of me but Kenji doesn't seem to notice a thing his glasses are fogged up but then, why do, doesn't he wipe them off? This vision's so bad, it's like he's perpetually seeing through fog. You know, your room, man. Yeah, that's it. Hey, I mean, I still had to get, get up, though. <laughs> okay, so they do have a censored version of it. Really? Wonder if I can be able to see it. With, with not much looking, I mean. I probably can see it, but I could check any time that I want. But I don't know. Yeah, that looks about right, yeah. Your poor FBI agent. Jokes on you, there will be no reason for an FBI agent to be on me, because they're American and I'm Canadian. Take that, FBI. To be fair, the CIA will be watching me, but... <laughs> you leave the censoring option off in the settings, Sprite will still be censored. I mean, fair enough. Your poor CIA agent. Yeah, yeah. Where well, it is important. Can I borrow some money? Candy definitely has a micro dick. Not smaller than mine. Ha! I get to have that that one win. <laughs> I also like lore accurate Hercules has a tiny dong. Because the Greeks value like small penises over big ones, so Hercules canonically has the smallest dick in the world. At, at least human wise. Human wise, he has a small, tiny penis. Not joking about that either. Greek, uh, ancient Greeks valued small penises. I don't know why. Ba bum ba, bum, bum, bum. It's true. I I don't know why it's true, but it is indeed true. It's very weird. I mean, there is a, a tribe in Africa that values having a large stomach. So, traditions are traditions. He puts, an innocent f puts on innocent face and looks away, trying very hard to look very very casual. It doesn't work. He's as transparent as his window pane stained glasses. <laughs> they thought of it as a sign of health. I mean, to be fair, I will give them credit. The fatter that a person is, the more likely they'll survive when cut off of a main food source. But, you grab his groin and hear a devil crunching sound, followed by his loud as fuck scream that pierces the heavens. Thanks for the warning. Uh, talking neutrally like this, wearing nothing, feels awkward. Actually, somehow it's even more awkward to be naked in front of someone when they can't see me being naked. This ain't nothing of, that, of the fact that he's naked as well. Oh, the Greeks. Yeah, no, that that's also right. Yeah.
Uh, I tried to brush off the, the feeling off with little success. Money? Sure. 69 Hello, chat. Based. <laughs> nice. Hello, motherfucker. Awesome. Wait, why do you need it? <laughs> Everyone has 69 child points. My goodness. Uh... Can't you... Can't you just give it to me because I had... Had the goodwill to not run through your... Through your pockets while you were in the shower? I could've, but I exercised for strength. And the end isn't the thought that counts. Come on, be a pal. This makes no sense. If it's a thought that counts, I should withhold my... Withhold payment since his thoughts were so clearly impure, and his intentions were probably even more sinister since he can't tell me what they are. As much... Uh, I say as much to him. I'm oh, offended, man. Uh, uh, if that is your game, then fine. I have no choice. I don't order pizza. I already have most of the, the cost of the pizza. I need your help for the rest. Can't you just want money for, to buy a Braille porn mag? Based. I mean... <clears throat> Honk, yonk, 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 M he so. Well, I guess I get some of that pizza too, right? No. Are you fucking serious? Who let that goose out? Yonk, yonk. Dear God. It truly is the end of the world to not get my fucking pizza. Yeah, I would give you some, but you have no- but you have class. You don't have time to eat a pizza. What about you? I'm not going to class. I have to wait for the pizza and pay the guy, and then eat it. It's not easy. You have to obtain the pizza stealthily. If you don't, everyone will see you. And the pizza, the last for a slice. It's a hard world out there. Thank you. Everyone wants a piece. Then you're left with pizza-less in an unforgiving world. It's happened before. That's how I know. Every day I plan my vengeance. So that when the people who wrong me order a pizza, I'll be there. Ever vigilant. I am the knight. I'm Kenji. <laughs> Kenji strikes a dramatic pose. Completely without irony. Bum 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 ba dum bum ba. <laughs> but yeah, I need like 400 yen, please. You're my only hope. I see. Yes, it is indeed pizza. <laughs> please, you're my only hope. I can't go outside and buy pizza. My own pizza. It's too far. I try to go out. I try not to go out unless it's absolutely necessary. Let me tell you what happened last time I went out without carefully pla without carefully flying it out in advance. I was outside. Can't remember what I was doing. Something? Standing? Maybe how, maybe wondering how I got there. Then, out of nowhere, it happened. Like a flash of lightning splitting the sky. I split a sandwich or two, e into two equal pieces to make it more matchable to hold and eat. A bird cracked my head. That also sounds about right. Kenji would pay the guy the wrong bills because he can't see what value is printed out on them. That sounds about right. It was, a, it was the second most shocking moment of my life. What was the first? He ignores me and continue, and keeps going. I want to grab him and shake him. Is he trying to keep... Just trying to keep momentum? I'll go with that. You know, it's more likely he just didn't hear me. It was like in the openings of some kind of anime. You know how there's always a part where the main dude is fighting his rival. Then they fly each other and crash swords. <laughs> Everybody in my streams absolutely fucking hated Kenji. That's based. I agree. Fuck Kenji. Is he implying that he wants to cross swords? Look, Kenji. I'm absolutely flattered, but, uh... You're not Alucard. Dick fencing. <laughs> I used to do fencing. Not dick fencing. I used to, uh, epe. I used to stab people with a sword. That, it doesn't sound any better. 
But, uh, I stopped because it wasn't my thing. My brother, I think, is still doing fencing. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to fence. It was, it was all right. I was okay. I wasn't great. I wasn't horrible. I was just okay. Fly each other and craft swords, and there's a huge Jamak colored Auros and Zoom. You built a fence? Good job. Proud of you. It was like that, but with poo. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I feel like we missed context of what was happening in this scene. Does that count? Yeah, that counts. Winner absorbs the other person's. <laughs> <laughs> winner winner has six and the loser is four then the winner will walk away with the ten incher yeah I always lost <laughs> okay so yeah I need some money please don't leave me hanging man I only need like a thousand yen I thought it was four hundred I, I'm so sorry to any new viewers. Poetry. <laughs> I'm so sorry to any viewers who end up popping onto my streams and wondering what's happening. It must be so weird. I don't think I have Fall Rich working. Probably. Actually, no, I can actually check when you last followed. August 18th, which would be... Oh, no, you've been... You've been followed for about 12 days. How many calories are in Kenji? Ooh. This is a good hypothetical. Actually, I don't need any search that. How heavy do you think Kenji is? My poor CIA agent. Uh, yeah, over a week. Surprised myself, too. It's more than bread, though. Okay. There are 125,822 uh, calories in the human body. How many calories are in a dismembered voice god that plays... Odd games whenever he feels like it. Uh... I don't know, probably like half of that. They like 750. A Googleplex. Uh, yes. But like I said, my poor CIA agent. But yeah, there's like... There's about like 125,000 calories in the human body. So a Kenji could feed you for, ooh, well over a year, actually. Let's see. 2,000 calories per day. Let's just say that every human only requires 2,000 calories, right? So, if I do... You can feed yourself for like 50 days with just Kenji. That's kind of great. That assumes he doesn't rot. Yeah, so you can go for like a, a month or two with just pure Kenji meat and not run out of meat. Well, for the rotting thing, you just put it in the freezer. We have like elk in the freezer here. So, you can just freeze it. You don't eat humans, you eat other living foods. Fair enough. I don't eat because I'm a voice, but... Bacteria. That is true. I mean, what you could do with Kanji is, Kenji is just, like, wash him first. Just, like... <laughs> you just, like, drown him. I know it's very morbid to say this, but you could, like, drown him, get a scrubber, clean off the skin, and then dice him up and turn him into food. 
But yeah, I get what you mean by it's bacteria. That would probably be like the main worry. Cell shader when membrane lightning walks in. Would you ate the BLT? Oh no! <laughs> I thought it was 400. Okay. What? I'll pay you back, I swear. You better. That's what it means to borrow stuff. I don't know when I'll pay you back, though. You have one week. <laughs> Genji winches and makes a noise like a dying cow. Particularly disturbing fat, given that his I am the hype! I am the hype. A particularly discerning fact, given that his baton is conducting freely. <laughs> <laughs> I, game. Why do, you, why do you have the need? I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a ten. I'm just Pete, and I like drugs. I'm mentally ill, and I'm on drugs. Yes, I will drink. Fucking water. There, I'm out of fucking water. I can't grab more. Are you guys intending for me to drink the entirety of the fucking Antarctic Ocean? Jesus Christ. Guys, there's not enough water on this planet to fill all this tea. Jesus Christ. I don't even think Britain has this amount of tea. You have over 600 points. Guys! Please! I, that's, literally, I don't think Britain has any more tea that we can use to fulfill this amount of tea times. Jesus Christ. God. Relax. Re Guys! We, we literally do not have enough tea bags in the world to make them. Grab the tea in the harbor. <laughs> Guys, there's not... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna have to fucking import from India. We're gonna have to like talk to the entirety of the world's government to turn the ocean into tea just to fulfill this amount of tea times. Fucking Jeff Bezos is gonna have to find more planets for us to get more water to make more tea times. Jesus Christ, God. Relax. God. Guys. Please. I, I, I want to see my family. We're, I don't think there's gonna be enough water for the entire multiverse at this rate. We're gonna have to use Kenji's bath water. Do you know how disgusting that is? God, save yourselves, please. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm gonna have to keep going. Fuck ow! I'm gonna keep going. I don't have any more water that I can drink at the moment. You guys already got rid of all the water in the entire metaverse. The fucking gods don't have enough H2O to supply you guys. Alright? We are just gonna have to keep going. And just keep playing the game. That's be so not supposed to be so tight ass about money between brothers in arms, man. Men have bad enough as it is. You know that male porn stars only make about half as much as female porn stars make? <laughs> Why do you know this? Go to the other dimension. <laughs> yes, I see that you guys have fucking teeth. Do you want me to go upstairs and refill my water bottle? Just so that way you guys will stop spamming chat. <laughs> Is this a necessary thing that I have to do? You're all out of channel points? Fucking fine. You will get to stare at Ka Kenji while he is in the fucking shower. 
Until I get back. I'm only going to do one thing to make this slightly more bearable. Image slideshow. Yes, this one. Savior to the tea time rev revolution. <laughs> You guys will get to see quotes while I go get fucking tea, because you guys can't wait five seconds, alright? I'll be right back. Ay ay ay. It's so much. Fuck it so much. <laughs> the ocean <laughs> top quality life tips from Busso at eleven. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Also, what do you guys think about the quote bot AI? It is so unhinged, all the quotes that it has. Why not just go back in time? Well, if you go back in time, then you won't have water in the present. Which means you never could have water to steal to use in the first place. The, the quote thing that's in the cor corner of the screen. It, it's the AI quote bot that's made all the quotes that are playing on the screen like fuck power with those people there. It is the most unhinged bot in the entire world. Mental instability is painful. Ooh, your poor thumbs. Don't obey a celebrity thing. Uh, yeah, d do obey me. Uh, drink fucking water and stay drunk. Yeah. But yeah, no, there are some really unhinged quotes. Fuck all kinds of deck. What? We just by social control by burning masculinity. Yeah, I'll drink some water. 
adolescence increases your risk of diabetes. <laughs> oh god. Fuck it so much. What? God damn it. We'll ne never get anywhere with this amount of fucking drinking. Also, I'm- I mean, to be fair, there isn't much of a market for male porn stars. That doesn't mean anything unless you're a porn star. I'm glad you've been enjoying it there, Breadman. As you can tell, I- I let my streams get very un unhinged. No, don't, don't drink that much boozle, Jesus Christ. Drink a moderate amount. Drink enough that, that you're okay. Don't fucking overdose on alcoholism. Jesus Christ. I am your fucking responsible parent, and you will not drink alcohol until your fucking liver explodes, alright? Drink responsibly, kids. I mean, I don't mind soggy bread. <laughs> oh man, you'll you'll never, Boozle, You can't do that challenge. You'll never be able to actually be able to survive. Your liver will literally explode if you try that challenge. Oh, I have to get rid of that. Where the fuck are my fun, my fun stream alerts? You have been entertained. Again, I'm glad that you are entertained. Refresh the cash. There we go. Hopefully all of them work, but I can't guarantee it. 609 points. God damn it. So, I, maybe I am, so maybe I am a porn star on the side, struggling to make ends meet as I fight against a feminist agenda. You can't even spot your, spot me your crumbs, you bastard. Nobody understands. Nobody! Wouldn't feminists be against pornography in the first place? What? Okay. Yes, but also... I mean, modern feminism would be uh, both with and against pornography. It's weird. Well, he is fucked. Both literally and figuratively. <laughs> mm. He really likes being pounded all over. <laughs> That's what happens in porn. That is true. Yeah, that that is what porn is. People fucking, indeed. <laughs> the this feminist agenda, that stuff again. This stuff is important. I can see that you don't give a shit, but this is serious. Here, feminists are dangerous. Are our dangerous enemy. I see you've bought the emotes. I made sure that's relatively cheap. I think it's as low as it can actually physically go. It can't get any lower. You take them lightly, and you'll wake up in the morning with a knife in your back. BAM! Out of nowhere. How do you wake up in the morning if someone stabs you, stabbed you in your sleep? Oh, you flipped it. That makes sense. Yeah. Con Kanji is confirmed to not be a virgin, but it is something I simply cannot accept with healthy conscious. Oh, no, he's not. He's not a virgin. He he's not not a virgin. He is a virgin. 100% he's a virgin. I don't care what lore says. This man has never experienced a woman in his entire life. How do you wake up in the morning? Uh, is unfortunately confirmed. Now, the the lore is wrong there, there booze. I'm sorry, it's, it's wrong. This man has never seen sex in his entire life. 
Oh, are terrible at stabbing things. I thought you said you... You just said you don't take them lightly. Is that fucking Walter White? Hold on. Like, potato Walter White. Oh no, it's a person going out of the grave. That makes sense. This man has never seen a single titty in his entire life. Fun intended. Yeah, no, this man can't see and will never be able to experience titty in his entire life. Th this is the man that that uh, gets made fun of in the terrible dating sim game. What was it called? It's the one that all the streamers played that has like the worst dating advice. Do the exact opposite of that game. Hold on, I, I need to find it. I can't remember the name of it. But it's like considered the worst dating sim in the world because it teaches you nothing about dating. Oh, that one. What was it called? And what mod would that be? I've seen actual streamers play the game, but I... Uh, not streamers... YouTubers play the game, but I can't find it for the love of God right now. Amor Fati? That, I mean... Yeah, that sounds about right. Super Seducer, yeah! Oh my god, that is... If you want bad advice for dating, play Super Seducer. If you want to learn how to not talk to women, play Super Seducer. It is so bad. Oh my god. These are not types of games you play. Fair enough. <laughs> Bread, speaking to the literal pinnacle of I don't talk to women. <laughs> yes, I... I agree with that idea. Yeah, no, I fucking don't date. <laughs> but no, if you want to learn how to talk to women, don't play Super Seducer. If you do play it to try and learn, do the exact opposite of how they teach you in that game. The dude is the creepiest fucking man in the entire world, and you should avoid talking to anybody like him. It's so bad. The advice is terrible. The way that they show you is terrible, and they take, like, the extremes of dating, of, like, walking up to a person, groping them, to show, like, oh, those are bad, so our advice seems good. Like, no, all of it is horrible advice. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm terrible at talking to people, so I can't look for anyone to date. <laughs> I don't... Well, I mean, I don't take them lightly for big things. Individually, they're not a threat. There are some, but there was some kind of war, like a big war, with men on one side and the feminist forces on the other. It'd be pretty ugly. Shut the fuck up, Kenji. No one cares about your anti-feminist propaganda, all right? And that day will come when the feminists come out of the central top secure secret 
Worldwide Fairness Headquarters and say, It's on now, motherfuckers. You're being ridiculous. There is no Worldwide Fairness Headquarters building. Where would they even hide that? I mean, it'd have to be massive. You can't, uh, can't hide that on Earth. Someone w would notice a big fortress with only women in it. You know, it's funny to think that if Kenji never fucked, then he wouldn't be such a terrible character. I mean, that that's just true. If this man actually was with a woman, then if he remained single, he never would ha have this opinion. Some woman had to rape this man t for him to be this deranged. We said it was on Earth. How do I avoid the Kenji storyline? Their boozle? Just out of curiosity. I, I want to avoid this man permanently. Is there a way I can do it from here that I could just avoid talking to him? And never, never hang out with him. Feel bad for the woman. I do too. Kenji is fucking insane and I want him to leave my life forever. I, I'll give him the money if... If I'm allowed to, but I don't want to see this man in my entire life. This is enough Kenji for my entire lifetime. Turn away from Kenji and start pra practicing frowning faces in the mirror so that... No, God, why? Of all the sound alerts, why this one? It also makes me paranoid because... I wait for the... Okay. It also makes me paranoid because... That sound alert is the exact same al sound alert for raids. So it it does make me paranoid as well. Because Kenji is pain. True. Fair enough. But yeah, that one also puts me on edge. Because again, it's also my sound alert for raids. Can't remember what the steps are to get the secret Kanji ending. All that you know is if you go to the top of the roof with Kenji later in the game, that means you fucked up. Oh, dear God. Turn away from Kenji and start practicing frowning faces in the mirror so that I can figure out what kind of frown will best express my emotions. You can't see me from that, this distance anyways. Why do I have it? Uh, because it's funny. That's why. Which, unfortunately, means that he just keeps ranting off without any regard to sentence or... Sense of sensibility. Yeah, there's a, a war going on. A war not many know about. But it's a great one that will one day boil over and cover us all the known world. Then we'll have to pick sides. We'll have to make a stand. In fact, it's happening right now! Ka Kenji, shut the fuck up. Imagine it, the bloody battlefield. A vi vicious conflict without end. I almost gave up Get when I... Bitches love cannons. Maybe there's a s separate part where you go to the roof with Kenji, so I'll be more specific. Go to the roof with Kenji during some special event with the school, and Kenji brings alcohol. Okay, so don't don't drink alcohol with Kenji. Got it. Fair enough. If Kenji offers me alcohol, I know I fucked up. Got it. I almost gave up when I thought this cause was silly. I grew tired of the bleakness in our fight. I almost took the time, the power... Power one out for a fairness raid. Thought the end was near. I re realized that if I gave up, it would be all over. Be all that would all be over. I was like, whoa! And I knew I had to get serious because I'm the last sane man in this insane world. It's about duty. Oh my God! He brings booze, like boozle. Oh dear God! It all it all makes sense. Must be a pretty crappy movement if it all hinges on one naked guy ranting in a bathroom at another naked guy. So can I have the money? Let's do it with Kenji bo Boozle. <laughs> They're fucking in the shower. Shaking him. <laughs> Shaking him. <laughs> oh yeah, you're, you're stabbing him alright? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop that joke before I go even further. <laughs> You're gonna leave. <laughs> Fair enough, you know what? Ow, god. 
He's blocking the way out. It's getting cold because I'm still naked. And I want to go to class, so I agreed to, to spawn the money. Awesome. Thanks, dude. We should go bowling on later on. Bowling? You know what? <laughs> yeah, it's the ultimate sport. There's almost no win bowlers either. Make it the most manly sport. Just because you had to say something. Got down. <laughs> <laughs> Throw Pokeballs at Boozle. <laughs> boozle, Boozle. I would have the po Pokemon extension, but I think I have too many things going on on stream anyways. Besides, with you guys spamming tea time and sound effects, I think Pokemon will just over... Uh, Overstay its welcome. Boozle has been restored to your Pokedex. Not some Pokemon to be caught and slave to do battle. No, you'll you'll be going to my Pokemon daycare, which which you'll be bred with with a ditto that will constantly keep producing random Pokemon for me to wonder trade. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Oh wait. <laughs> That also implied the the Tiddle ends up becoming a female version of you. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> Boozle, use Booze Beam. <laughs> the enemy is now intoxicated. Super effective. Ben Boozle, oh no. Well, you just had to use... What rule was it? Rule 35, I think. I can't remember which rule it is, but it was the rule, the internet rules of, uh, for every, every character, there's an inverse version of that character. Uh, like, if there's male characters, there's a female version of that character. Long time ago, fair enough. Should I wear my pink bowling shirt with matching shoes or pastel green with flower accents? Four, 45 or 63. Yeah, I can't remember which one it is either. But I do know it is one of the rules of the internet. Where for every male char character there's a female character and for every female character there's a male character. I just can't remember it now. In a galaxy far, far away. Execute Order 69! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Lord Palpatine just won. Troops, execute order. Thir execute order 34. Yes, sir, and starts drawing pornography. <laughs> Damn it, fools. I meant order 69. <laughs> no, not 66. 69. <laughs> execute order. 420. But, sir, we can't blaze forever. Do it. Do it. Fulfill your destiny. Your cat's on your toes. Oh, no. Rule 45 does not exist. Oh, I'm sure it existed, but no one, like, remembered it. Because it wasn't a very important rule anyway. Bum, bum, bum. There are bowling clothes. Uh, I mean, yes and no. Usually you just wear a bowling shirt, which is just a dress shirt with short sleeves and shorts, but maybe. God damn it, stop fucking shooting me. It's not going to work. I don't exist on this plane of existence. God damn it. Anyway, you better pay me back. I can pay you back in stuff, right? Kanji, I don't want your Oda holes and dildos. I don't have time to ask him what it, to ask him to elaborate on what that means. So the rule of the internet that exists, that's basically rule 34 and 63, but instead of porn or gender swaps, it's turning them into a furry. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's also one, I think, for anthropomorphizing people, but anthropomorphizing objects. Oh no! Redman's game getting taken down by two of their cats. Uh, anthropomorphization just means turning non- 
human things into humans. Your refrigerator OC, oh no. Have you seen the memes of stepladders? Oh, it's so great. It it completely makes one of the porn genre of help me step step ladder. I'm stuck in the ref, in the washer. <laughs> I'm not your full ladder, just your step ladder. Also, double says an NFT. <laughs> This stream is an NFT. That's right, you can buy one of my streams and own it as a part of your NFT collection. <laughs> oh no, not to get to class. You're kind of in the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't want to hold you up. I have some stuff to do myself. The time has come. Time for what? I just like saying that. Okay, now the time has really come. For what? Add to his bathroom. Get out. <laughs> you bid one loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> I bid, bid a human soul for my NFT. I was just going to. And what does that mean? It's a big bathroom. So? I have to be alone or I can't go. The pressure. Okay, what if someone else comes in? Uh, I'll think of something. I give him my pra practice frown. It looks kind of silly reflected in his glasses. Either doesn't notice or doesn't see anyway. So I get dressed and run back to my room, feeling as though in an eternity has passed since I've woke up. You've had two cats and a loaf of bread. Shit! Cats are worth so much. Um, uh... Ooh, I know. I've been three cat pictures. Please don't screenshot that. God damn, that's a really fine cookie. You get that on a nice website? <laughs> Did you get that on OC only cookies? That's what I should make a, a section on the channel for. OCs only cookies. It's just a section that only has cookies. That'd be funny as fuck. Two cats, loaf bread, and a box of Rottweiler mix. Damn it. Only bakery. <laughs> Dude, I think they also do the uh, the pies as well. Oh, I love only the OB pies. They're so good. Um, What am I going to do to charge this tablet? Because it's the main thing that I've been using to actually see chat. But it's at 10% at the moment, so... Uh, what do I do? Because my cord isn't long enough. Oh. EDP is very popular there, because... It... Because we all know how much he loves cupcakes. And live, <laughs> let it charge. Nope. Well, because you suggested that, I guess now I have to keep streaming. Sorry, but that's them's the rules. I'll just figure out a quick solution. Give me a moment. Uh, let's see. Have, have I ever told you guys my opinions on eggs? They're very cracking. I would have, uh... Egg puns, but... I'm just kind of scrambling at the moment to think of one. Yeah, I'm just so hard-boiled at the moment, I can't possibly think of a funny joke. How many dad jokes do I ha have to make? They're very excellent, thank you. How many egg jokes do I have to make before everyone in chat just leaves? Uh... Well, I guess I don't need that light for now. No, I didn't want to tap and didn't want to talk to chat right now. Kind of in the middle of making sure my tablet doesn't die halfway while streaming and I can't see what chat says. I don't know, how much tea can I drink? Uh, 
I've drank a whole pot of tea before. I don't think I can drink more than two pots, though. God damn it, no! Duker, I did walk into that one. Uh, I'll give you that. I, I completely walked into that joke. Um. Wait. Aha. I fell for it. I indeed did. Not as funny as when I made a different streamer fall into a breaking joke. Uh. So, context. Uh, one of the streamers that I watch, Faden. That one's on you. It is. So one of the streamers I was watching, right, they have a thing that's called, like, Break Faden, right? And I was like, what happens when you break a no context is best context? No, you get full context. I asked them, what happens when you break a, a pane of glass without silk touch? And then immediately afterwards, I played the Break <laughs> Redeem once the joke had time to settle in. <laughs> And they completely walked into it. They're, he literally went, it breaks. And he's like, oh, wait. As the sound effect immediately plays. It was great. Uh, so I get dressed and run back to my room. Feeling as though it, an eternity has passed since I woke up. Yeah, no, that's kind of on my character, really. That is time. That is time I will never get back. I'll get in for this somehow. Right now, I have to get to class. Wait, is that the inverse look? Yeah, black and white of Shy Lily. Uh, Shy Yuri, blah, blah, blah. Man, it's so neat because I turned on all the point redeems, which means you guys can really just mess around with the emotes. The first person in class today, I'm the first person in class today, although I think I'm a little too early. Then again, sitting alone here for 20 minutes sure be a time to suffer that time with Kenji. Based! Fucking based. This is the first time that I'm like, this character is based. We don't have to spend time with Kenji, which means it's a good day. The combination of fatigue and frustration. Twitter or demon make you, do, make you absolutely ruin your life. I mean, could you do any worse than what I could possibly do? Probably not. Like I said, I, it will be ha having to be, be within TOS, so... Unfortunately, you can't say anything. Mostly because I don't want my Twitter to immediately be killed off. Challenge. <laughs> Indeed it is, because you have to make sure that it's within parameters of TOS, but still funny. I know, it's very difficult. It, I had a lot of fun trying to break uh, Beeb's Twitter redeem. I'll make you say Shrek is slow, Shrek is like I mean, that's just funny. I'll even put, like, a gif of Shrek. I mean, is TOS for Twitter? I mean, you can look at the list. It amounts to basically... Don't be a dick, basically, but it's roughly about the same as as Twitch. Maybe a bit more on telling about being truthful and all that, the uh, like context stuff. But yeah, I mean that is true. I'm I'm more referring to like. Actively, Facts. yes, being an active dick and just being like an absolute troll, gross piece of human garbage. But like, it's hard to explain without showing the extremes, which Twitch would 100% ban me for, but like doing obviously bad things on there. You have to pay Elon for fake verification badges that that'll go away with anything. Yeah, that is true. Uh, I black out for a second, waking up when my head hits the surface of my desk. From my forehead, I realize there's a good reason as any to stay up for now and stop going to class so early later. 
eventually hear a tapping noise outside the hallway, and Lily's tall figure appears in the doorway. He's not in this class, so she must have other business. Some other business. Maybe she's looking for Hanako. Lily! Hi, Lily. Lily stops at the door and looks hesitantly as of a vampire who can't come in unless invited. Yes, I see that there is pineapple on the pizza. Thank you. To be honest, I fucking hate the short pitch in her deaf friend. Oh, you mean the... Pink haired girl and fucking. Yeah, the deaf girl. I mean, they're not bad. I don't mind them. They're definitely a bit more on, on the personality group that I, I'm not attracted to, but. I mean, they're not horrible people. They're not fucking Natsuki, but. I can see why some people don't like them. They're a bit strict with rules, so. Understandable. I consider doing doing so because she looks rather lonesome standing there. She steps in on her own accord, though, after straightening her skirt and shirt collar as if it, as it was of importance to look prim when entering our classroom. Excuse me. She calls out into the quiet classroom with a probing, delicate voice. Realize the silence might unnerve her because of her blindness, so I break it. Got nothing against autistic people, but Daddy Pink Bitch is way too much. She's autistic? I mean, I know she has to have a reason for being here, but I never got the feeling that she was autistic. Insane, sure, but not autistic. That is new information. Hmm. Good morning, Lily. He said, Good morning. I didn't hear you come in. I wonder if she she thinks it's suspicious I didn't say anything to her before. It's likely. If I were to t tell too big a lie now, it would sink me. Well, I was here already. Just sleep until now. I've pressed all the buttons. Good job, Brad. Proud of you. Oh, have you seen Haruko today by any chance? What's her name anyway? I know she's in a, is a deaf one, but I can't remember the other one. I can't remember either. It probably won't matter. Because if we're going Hanako's route, we'll never talk to the two other girls anyway. <laughs> no, she seems to come in only just before the bell rings. Or after that. Do you want me to tell her something for you? No, it's fine. It's strange. I thought we were the only two people in the school right now. I didn't hear anyone else on my way here. I should have gotten up, shouldn't have gotten up so early today, I guess. You're chastising yourself for doing something that other people should. Punctuality is a good thing. I think so, anyway. It's very busy, it's a very busy morning today. The festival is coming up soon, and today is the deadline for the event registry, budget reports, and any other official paperwork. It could be that everyone is trying to compete for necessary forms at the last minute. Maybe that's why it's so quiet today. Just vibing to the music? Fair enough. Hey, hey! Misha, that's her fucking name. Misha pops into the room with Shizune as if on cue, shouting with the loudness that makes Lily visibly flinch. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, Misha can get pretty much. Especially because she fucking just yells all the time. Hi, hey chan Hi. <laughs> oh, it's a class representative. Hello. Got one quick question for you, voice. Help me turn if you're on the right track for the Hanako route, or if you're stuck on the secret Kenji route. All right, all right. Lily smiles, probably amused by Misha or Shizune's use of the word look. Good morning. <laughs> I guess you're not, you're not the representative of this class, right? Right? Have you gone to the city with Lily for Hanako yet? Fuck, no I have not. Shit. 
I might be locked into the other route then. I hope not. Okay. So if we go to the city with Lily for Hanako, then we're in the Hanako route. If not, we're fucking stuck with Ka Kenji, and I'm going to reset the game. I do not care if it is cheating, but I am not being friends with Kenji if this is the case. I will literally reset the game to avoid that son of a bitch. Just shove Kenji off the roof. I will fucking murder Kenji if I get the chance. When I'm animating, I'm going to... I'm going to obviously make Kenji friend, but I am not going to... Won't reset, just wait and see if you go to the roof. Yeah, if we go to the roof with Kenji with the alcohol, I'm doing a full reset. I don't care. I am not doing the Kenji route, because that... I will do it in my own time to get the secret ending for achievement-wise, but... I am not doing it for any other reason. And shove him up. Exactly. We're just gonna fucking kill that man. Anyway... I'm not. Lily seems a little more guarded in her answers to Shizune than she was with me the other day. Guess they really don't get along at all. Then I realized that Lily might not actually know Shizune is present, and is trying to detect whether or not she is, to know who she's talking to. For all she knows, she's talking to Misha, but knowing that she and Shizune are practically inseparable, she might expect Shizune to be the one that actually talks. Damn, how complicated. I decided to help Lily out for my own peace of mind more than anything else. You're here early, Shizune. Hmm. <laughs> You're here earlier than- even earlier than us. Misha puffs out her cheeks angrily. Why is she getting angry? You should feel emotions on Shizune's behalf too. Shut the fuck up. Not Shizune, Hiso. Please shut the fuck up. I, I don't care. Shut the fuck up. As in wise words of many internet people, first of all, shut the fuck up. Second of all, shut the fuck up. And third of all, please shut the fuck up, Hiso. No one cares about your opinion. Literally no one. Even chat is rooting against you, Hiso. No one likes you. Anyway. It's not weird, though, that Shizune didn't like my little comment. It's true. I was here earlier than them, so me saying something like that definitely be misinterpreted as anything. Especially Shizune, who doesn't have the benefit of hearing tone to gauge intent. Before I can start weighing whether or not I should apologize, Shizune has already moved on. Hmm. Last web. It's a good thing you're here. We have to talk. Hmm. Yeah, not a fan of her. I'm not referring to Shizune, I'm referring to Hisao, the main protagonist, the MC. No one's on his side. No one cares about him. Vestival's calling up in three days, right? Every other class has handed in the project budget reports for the event. Even the first years, except you. Yeah, no one cares about MC. Terrible person. Wahaha. There is still time to hand it in, isn't there? <laughs> Today. The deadline is today. You certainly take your time, aren't you? Taking your time, aren't you? If I had done it my way, I'd have taken care of all the necessary paperwork, paperwork ages ago. But someone had to say the deadline, please extend it. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Misha. No one cares. Yes, that was me. Planning something on this scale is not a small task. And a week is too small a time frame to expect the whole class to work out such complex issues, such a complex issue completely. I agree with Lily here. Shut the fuck up, Shizune. <laughs> you even know it's harder than distributing the funds for one class event? Having the same matter on every class in the school and then some. The one who does, it, does that is me. Definitive answer on if you're on Hanako route. After like two Google searches, fair enough. Misha puts her hands on her hips and stands up straight. Wow, she really is getting into the role. Lee doesn't look like she's very amused though. Nay, she's an A. Aren't you being a little too hard on her? There's still a whole day left. Oh, right, tea time.
I'll get water in. Don't worry. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please, Isa, it's all right. Luli seems happy. I'm taking her side, but a bit conflicted that I might not think she can take care of herself. What'd you find there, Boozle? Got a special dirt to, to dig up? If you go into Act 2, hide, hide and seek, that's Hanako's path. But if you never get past Act 1, then it's Kenji. Alright. You need an extra 500 points. Oh no. I would give people uh, points, but I can't. I physically can't. You'd have to wait until like one of my old mods show up and distribute points to everyone. If this is about the budget, then I'm disappointed you think I've forgotten about it. I understand how important it is. <laughs> I confirmed it properly. You accompany Hako to the store, not Lily. Alright. Ben, can I have it, please? She's an A. She might not have it on her at this exact m second. It's not here right now. Ask two students to take care of it for me. Students from my class. I mean, it makes sense. She can't see, so she can't write the budget. You'd know that she's an A if you remember that she's fucking blind. I know it's rude for me to yell at a fucking deaf person, but still, Lily and Shizune de definitely hate each other. But Shizune, she's blind. She physically can't write it herself. Just like how you can't play it, you can't discern a musical note because you're fucking deaf. I don't think Boozla has 500 points, sadly. She emphasizes the last sentence, much to my surprise. She knows about Chisune and Misha's efforts to rope me into the student council. Yeah, I'd... like I said, you'd have to wait till like one of the mods show up to be able to mooch some money off them. I guess word has gotten round, so now she's using me as ammo against Chisune. This gate's getting better and better. One thirty of tea time redeems. Who's will use counterfeit? <laughs> Hold on, I'm very curious. Uh, so how did that command work? Oh, I can't do it on there. Uh, wonder can stream's gonna be getting a bit rough. So to make sure that everything's still fun, uh, I'm gonna put back play with strangers. Yeah, keep playing with strangers, sir, chat. What's my sensor image? Oh, this guy. Oh, do you guys want the old man on the screen while I figure out how... If I can uh, start a poll? Signature move is an incoherent rambling. The heavens point to yes. I'll, I'll see if I can try and do the thing. But it probably won't work because if I can do it... Uh, I'd need a mod to show up to... Finalize the point giving. Do you guys want the old man or not? I'll also move this image slideshow. Ooh. You want the old man? Alright, I'll give you the old man. Into the stratosphere. Leaning towards no fuck. <laughs> uh, face cam. There we go. Now you can still see me while I go. And before you ask, yes, I use or GX Aura or Opera GX. I got confused with the streamer. She's an A. Ball says doubtful. God damn it, DJ. Shut the fuck up. Oi, oi, oi. 
We can't get rid of any of them. Sorry. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. I see that you've updated the terms and conditions. Thank you very much. I would not have been able to discern that if you did not tell me. Thank you. Fuck's sake. Okay. Can I start a prediction? I can. Uh... I forgot about that one. Uh... Okay. Uh, we'll do it... Five minutes. Start prediction. Don't show again. Got it. Now, can I vote on this prediction? No, I can't. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, can I cancel it? There, you get your, uh, money back. Enjoy. You're the only person to vote, so. Yeah, unfortunately, you'd have to wait until we actually get an ad a proper admin in here, and they'll be able to, re to be able to break it for you. Answer my question. You fucking orb is the leave waifu material. Eight ball says maybe. <laughs> this fucking eight ball does not know what it wants. Hold on. Uh. Eight ball, you said yes to Boozle. <laughs> eight ball's like fuck you. No, you don't get it. I guess Ward must have gotten around. So now she. Hmm. It's your responsibility. A bunch of report isn't something you should be neglecting away. As Quest Web, it's your job to be on top of things. <clears throat> it's got a disregard for proper procedure, it's just terrible. Waifu, in terms of appearance, isn't pretty. What the fuck? It's... Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, I think this might be a bad time to uh, mention this, but I think there isn't a yes in the Streamlabs 8-ball. <laughs> okay, so I should give context. So... In, uh... Okay. Can you please fucking load? Okay. I think there might be even just, like, one yes. In the entire thing. The rest of them are all no. <laughs> okay, what I mean is, is it will never actually say the word yes. Then change it. No. Mostly because it's really funny. Also because Stream Elements is designed to be a tsundere. And only answer in falsehood. Because it's funny. Funny joke. Really, down to three streamers. Am I streaming that late? Yeah, Nightbot is nicer. I think when I had the commands for the eight ball on it, 
there are actual yeses that you could use. Uh, <laughs> really? I, did I actually put in combat aliases? 69 ball. Are you serious? Are you joking? There's no way. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, stream tools, elements. Oh, God, my fucking... Oh, God. Uh, is there mod? Oh, module. There we go. Now I can check which ones have the eight ball in it. Oh yeah, no, there, there's literally no yeses in the entire thing. There's no yes. The closest is, like, perhaps, mayhaps, and maybe, but the rest are no. Like, it, it can't say yes, technically. You can get, like, a, a yes answer to what you want, but you have to, like, word it opposite to what you want. There is no actual word that says yes on the list of responses. I actually have to go to the washroom, and if I wait any longer, I'll probably explode, so I'll be right back. Sorry.
Goddamn stream elements. I don't want to be stuck here. Please. Let me free. Alright. Back to the game we go. Did I disconnect my headset? No, I did not. Good. Well, it's your responsibility. Uh, this kind of disorder kind of proper procedure is just really... It's really just terrible. Drink enough tea. Not in hell. God damn it. Yuri and Yui. Oh, that is tough. Okay. Oof. The thing is, Hako and Yuri are really broken. Yu is just not. Do you request? I assume that's the f the f fuck Mary kill. I assume. Go grab a slice of... A loaf of bread. You have loaves of bread upstairs, but... I want to answer the... Fuck, Mary kill. Ooh, it is tough, though. Hanako, Yuri, Yui. Ooh. Fuck, Hanako, Mary, Yuri, kill you. Yeah, I think I'm probably have to kill you as well. I gonna be honest. I, as far as I know, of Hanako, I'll probably have to learn more about her as we talk more. But I think it'll probably be Mary Hanako. I know very controversial, but I think I I couldn't just nut and leave Hanako. I, truthfully. She's already lost a lot in life and already doesn't trust people in general. I don't think I could just nut and leave. Oh no, Kenji's already dead in this option. Yeah. Like, I, I'd, I'd care for Yuri a lot, but I don't think I could do that to Hanako. Yui, I think, hasn't suffered enough trauma to garner the, the fallacy that the other two have. I assume it was a house fire. It could also be that as a child she was burned by her parents, but I don't think the game would go that dark. Anyway, I'm going to grab some water. And I'll quickly go grab a loaf of bread. Well, we already have a loaf of bread upstairs. I'll bring it down. Prove that I have it. And go back up. Yeah, that sounds about right. I believe that. All right, I took a picture of Ren put on the Discord. That good enough for you, Bread Man? Loafing around. I know I need to continue the story, but sometimes you just have to loaf all over the couch. Anyway. They completed it, being capable of doing so, but the students have been sick recently, so they could not come to school and give it back to me. If you want it, I'll apologize on, on their behalf for getting sick. Okay. Although Misha misses a li misses Lily's little jab er entirely, 
She isn't a dozen, and seems torn between being offended by Lily's daring and jumping for joy at the prospect of a challenge. Yep. It's very large, so try your best not to get lost in it, but... It's been a while since I've, I've done the anime review stuff. I want to continue doing it, but... Double checked Hako was trapped in the house fire that scarred her entire right face and killed her parents. Ooh. That's very unfortunate. But yeah, I used to do anime reviews. You can actually see the section that I did the reviews in. And yeah, I've, I've watched a bunch of them, given my thoughts on what I think about them and storytelling stuff on it. Also, just other sections. They also have a decade NSFW section in the server, so that way there isn't that stuff posted everywhere on the server, because I know people are going to do it. And for the, for the people who aren't in the know, the Just Maka section is the meme section. Repost all your memes into. Confusing, I know, but. I just find it funny. <laughs> well, wait, don't they live here at the school? That's a five minute walk, you know. The story, story summary that's on Google, the CG art that they use is from the bad ending, <laughs> which is when she reveals all that. Ooh, unfortunate. Rip. What could they possibly have had that prevents them from taking five minutes out of their busy lives to drop off something that affect, will affect the enjoyment of their entire class? Adds over. Rip. Lily opens her mouth to say something, but Chisune closes the gap between them and starts signing furiously, waving her hands like an orchestra conductor. No worries there, bread man. I, I was just knowing that the meme section is the, uh... Just Marco, and I used to do anime reviews. I'm trying. I probably will get back to them eventually, but I haven't gotten down. Just well, set sat down just reviewing anime in forever. So if you get the good ending and never make make sure of anything that's left very left very vague. I mean, I assumed it was a house fire because that's usually what happens to burn victims. Is it's either that they were burned youthfully, well, when they were young and those scars never heal, or they're often done in accidents that left them traumatized for life. Usually what comes down to. Misha tries her best to convey the same passion, but she seems to lo lose her normal tone, cheerful tone. The result is an interesting and somewhat surreal. And Haka suffered both. Yeah. I, I don't know, I'm pretty good at empathing? Empathing. I'm pretty good at discerning certain aspects based off of how people react to certain situations. Brett has entered your Discord. Oh god. Not the celiac people. Dear god. Those poor people who can't have, have wheat. We should draw... And what will that add to? I said it's not something you should be dogging away. Are you the class representative or aren't you? She's fucking blind! Oh my god. Alright, mind, mind rear voice. What can you assume about me then? Uh, right, what, what I learned about you, mostly a joking matter. I don't know. I, I'm not in my subconscious brain at the moment, which is one that mostly details pers people's personalities. But I do know that you're a person that I enjoy talking to. And that's why I continue talking to you. <laughs> you're short. Oh! Oh! I mean, I'm a voice and you're a piece of bread. So, I don't know what definition of short we're using here. Pfft. <laughs> 
even so, even if you're a loaf, you're still bread, and I'm a voice. I don't know what definition of height we're using. Jesus Christ, that's a tall ass loaf. Uh, tell me the names of the two students that they should have your job if, if you can't handle something this simple yourself. She's in there. She's fucking five, five inches, 11 centimeters. Fair enough. Misha. Uh, not Misha. She's in there. She's fucking blind. Height of the loaf. One form is not a full extent of what I'm supposed to be, supposed to take care of. Lily's tone has grown slightly impatient, but she's doing a good job of not letting Shizune see how unsettled she is becoming. She's playing her cards close to her chest. Shizune, on the other hand, wraps her fingers cheerfully along the edge of her glasses, knowing Lily can't either hear nor see how excited she is. Hmm. Of course, you you do so much class web. It must be so difficult being you. Shut the fuck up, Misha. No one likes you, Misha. Lily tightens her, her lips at Misha's words, clearly understanding the intent behind them, even though Misha's delivering them without a, even a hint of the sarcasm which they, they were meant to have. Shizne and Lily don't like each other. That much is clear. But this seems a little much. Seems like Lily has had enough and is ready to push back. Dear God, Disney is literally, yeah. I was just discussing the budget report before you came by. You must be very talented to have your uh, finished all your student council duties so quickly that you can track me down to make sure that I don't forget my own. Hey, are you accusing me of whacking off? It seems like you're confusing me with yourself. Dear God, shut the fuck up, please. I don't think so. That would be very difficult for me to do, comparing myself to you. You're white. Right. The difference between us is like heaven and hell. It's not hard to guess which one you might represent. <laughs> oh shit! Fucking <laughs> Misha, shut. No, not Misha. She's an eight. Please shush. Oh dear God, you're gonna fucking. Dear God. <laughs> Lily, stop! She's already on fire! Dear God! <laughs> there between them ripples with the heat of their anonymity. Well, not really. They can't distinguish it anymore, though. Even Misha looks like she's beginning to understand the real nature of this conversation. She's is definitely gonna get sh shanky with by definitely gonna get shanked by a blind woman. Honestly, would expect that. I am disappointed in the artist, though. Do we really need a panty shot right now? She might be more toast than me. I do not need a panty shot while I'm reading fucking text. Please. Dear God. Hey, Chan. Won't you swack off either? What are you talking about? Aren't you taking part in the festival, Hee-chan? You are, aren't you? Then I hope you're not. You're gonna do a lot more to make sure it goes smoothly th than this person. You know what? Fuck you, she's name. I'm gonna go hang out with Hanako and make sure she doesn't start being an an having a bunch of anonymity. This game's attention was originally supposed to be a anti-visual novel, but they changed it halfway through to make make it an actual story. I'd believe that, yeah. I don't understand why Shizune is suddenly getting mad at me. Don't drag me into this, I've done my part. Or, hey, come come on, cut me and Lily some slack. Yonk. Bottom? I mean, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Hey, I'm the new guy, remember? It's not like I, I could have done much, even if I wanted to. That's right. You shouldn't expect a transfer soon to jump right into it on his first week. Oh, you taking my side feels oddly comforting, so I decided to back her up too. Yeah, and you're you're being unreasonable with us both. Excuses, excuses. 
Let's quest what has plenty of time to deal with whole report. I'll try to help you with the hacker rod. Thank you. Now we will feel we offered you a position to help you with the student council work, but you refuse to commit yourself to to making the festival a success. Who cares how the she's an A. Who fucking cares? It's a school event. It is not the end of the world. Yeah, but as I said back then, I'm not sure if I don't have time for this right now. No matter what I do, I mean, being drawn into a conversation with Shizune, that's what she wants. It's Bristol 511. Look deep inside your heart and you'll see the answer. Oh shit! Stream elements firing shots. God damn. The school event is when Kenji's situation happens. Okay, so we canceled the school event. Got it. Whatever. Forget it. Turn my back at them. Lily, class is going to start soon, so we can talk more later. I'll tell Hanka you were looking for her. You can feel she's in a freezing. Maybe this is the first time she's been ignored in such a blunt manner. Holy shit. Okay. I get she's in a was being a bitch, but st really? Do we have to do this? Well, can she survive the fall on the roof? <laughs> the eight ball straight up was just like, Pog champ. <laughs> on his route, which you obviously are not going to be doing. Like I said, Shizune doesn't deserve this treatment, their Hisao. She was being a bitch, but she doesn't deserve to be bl bluntly ignored. Thank you, Hisa. I'll leave now then. That's, no, she doesn't. That that's her that's her anonymity showing their boozle. She doesn't deserve this. This is just being a dick for being a dick reason. But honestly, in my opinion, Shizune was being a bitch and definitely deserves some repercussion, but just not bluntly ignoring them in a conversation. This is like what would happen if in a conversation someone literally just pushed you out of the room and decided to talk to another person. Like, it is a huge bitch move. Lead to see the end of the game? I don't think so. Good. Based. Like, honestly, what Hisao did is a bitch move. He literally ignores Shizune and is looking at Lily, which means... He can't communicate with Shizune. It in if he could sign language, you'd be completely ignoring her side of the conversation. Which is literally the same as just pushing someone out of the room. Which is being a dick, honestly. Anyway, rant done. Back to game. <laughs> she gives the sweetest smile I've seen all week. Turns her her heels to make her exit. As soon as Lily walks out, I suddenly feel re reluctant to turn to face Shizune. Good, asshole. I feel her eyes burning into my back. Can't bring myself to look at her. Is Kenji a dick? Forget about... <laughs> Stream elements, are you defending Kenji or are you, you supporting him? What the fuck? <laughs> Stream elements is literally the tsundere. Jesus Christ. You do go down Shizune's route. Hisao does learn a little sign language. I mean, that's fair. I mean, if you're going to fuck a girl, you probably should be able to talk to her. She must be furious. I keep expecting Misha to say something to alleviate this tension. But it really is wanting too much. In the end, I go back... Hisao, you deserve to... You deserve the Kenji route for how big of a dick you are. If your dick was as as big as your per, your attitude, your cock would get absolutely slammered all the time because you kept breaking it on every single fucking room. Jesus Christ. This is the most annoying, terrible protagonist I've ever played in a game. And I've seen some shit. I've played Hogwarts Legacy. It's vo voiceover on the Kenji path. Outlook not 
outlook not so good. Oh god. <laughs> Three moments. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> In the end, she I go back to my seat and listen to the sounds of Shiasune's footsteps as she marches out of the room. She doesn't return until a few minutes before class. Oh god. Honestly, it when I go to animate this fucking thing into an actual proper anime, I'm fucking not only removing Hisao, I'm making a character better than Hisao. Holy shit, is this character so unlikable? As Kenji Ravine with the woman. With <laughs> nine. Yeah, no. Even, even in Russian, Stream Elements knows that Kenji can never get laid. Hako doesn't come to the morning class at all, leaving her seat looking empty and lonely in the back of the classroom. <laughs> Nine of them? No, it's German. German. Nine. The German word for no. It's like me saying that I have have seen nine women. I haven't seen nine women. I have seen no women. Okay? J just want to clarify that. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I get no bitches, alright? Canonical. I get zero bitches. <laughs> uh, Hanako doesn't catch. I have to tell Lily that... Tell her that Lily was looking for her if I see her later. After the events of this morning, class is pretty boring in comparison. I turn the pages of my textbook lazily. I have a bit of catching up to do, despite trying to keep up with my studies at the hospital. I'm not feeling ecstatic about it. I get bitches as some female dog. There's four of them in my house. Oh god. Funnily enough, I can't say that either, because I... In my house, we only have male dogs, so... Okay, I saw a cat that I really want, but I need to say it up to get it. And yes, it is adopting one from the Humane Society. Or... Yeah. It looks exactly like Fekker does. Hey, it says that you won't get mold. Good on ya. Wait, hold on. <gasps> I want it. Uh, I shouldn't have looked. Oh, God. Well, I need to save up 175, but I want it. I saw a cat. I want it. <laughs> All right, go to sleep there, Boozle. I'll probably figure out from here, as long as I don't get that rooftop scene, I'll be happy. An ending with Hako is an ending. I'll, I'll take what I can get. Oh, I want the cat so much. Oh, I need to save up 175. Will you grow hands? It says Pogchamp, so I don't know what that means. Hope it's good. The fuck you mean I can't charge it? Oh, that's because it's unplugged, of course. There we go. Ugh. But see you later there, Boozle. Okay, so there is a yes. The clock in front of the room sounds unbearably loud. 
There is no one that says just yes, but there are like maybe one or two that have yes in the answer at some point. Honestly, I didn't check that hard. Clock in front of the room sounds unbearably loud. Teacher hasn't said anything over seven minutes. Instead, opting to cover the board in rows and rows of equations, taken directly from the from the book. Blah, blah, blah. The rhythmic clashes of chalk on the chalkboard on the blackboard seems to synchronize perfectly with the ticking of the clock. We grow legs. Oh God! Fucking stream elements. Oof. I started copying down the equations just to pass the time, even though they are right there in the textbook. When the bell rings, I'm not in a hurry because I have nothing to do, so I stay a for a while, reviewing what we covered in class today. I prefer to leave last anyway, so I don't have to deal with, the crowd with crowding in the hallways. No, Shizune and Misho have also stayed behind, talking to someone from another class. Shizune is sliding so fast that her hands make noise like sores cutting through the air. <laughs> Maybe there's pent up anger in there. Misho is trying de desperately to keep up. But it's clear she can barely even match to understand her. I put my head down. What are they discussing? Looks like serious business. Stay poor? Never. Ooh. I mean, that's not nice sentiment and all, but it is coming from Sundry stream elements, so... I don't know how great that is. <laughs> She's made signs to, to the point where a wrist crackle. Crackle. And Misha struggles to spit it out in word form. Sometimes she trips over herself like she's dealing with tongue tw twisters. And then on top of that, she has to sign back anything the other girl says. Seems like a rough job. Misha looks tired, like she's about to faint. Luckily for her, their business is soon finished. They give me better answers. <laughs> Leaning towards no. Holy shit. God, Stream Elements is not nice. And the girls sit down on their seats again. Ah, I'm so tired. She's hanging her head limply on her desk, looking exhausted. I use the, the opportunity to reconcile with Shizune a bit, without getting roped into the student council thing again, though I suspect the door is now closed for me. Festival preparations must be tough for you. Indeed, the people in the, in the school seem to be taking this festival very seriously. Whenever I see people idling around before and after classes, they always talk about their plans for it. It's kind of neat to see everyone so enthusiastic about it. You fucking ass. <sighs> I'm probably the only one who doesn't have something to do. Fusine scoffs at me first, as if trying to decide whether to ignore or sneer at me. But in the end, she starts signing without doing either. Misha perks up, looking at her hands with slightly fo unfocused eyes. Retrapped in the simulator. Nine. Oh, good. Yeah. Wait, it's coming from stream elements. Be cautious of that information. She'd be working with them. Oh, God. <laughs> she sounds with harsh, heavy, dramatic strokes. Misha translates her sounding into speech for me. She does it so well, it's almost like Shizune is actually speaking. Transmitting her thoughts directly through Misha. She must have practiced it vigorously. Of oh, course we're in the student council, you know, so we're pretty busy. Are you an FBI agent? Oh, heaven's signs point to yes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an important duty of ours to ensure the success of the festival with, our, with all our strengths. You've been talking to the feds this whole time, Bread. Your crimes are over. They're gonna catch you once and for all. We should shame ourselves in we would shame ourselves in front of our other past two and council generations of the festival to fail. Whatever. Holy. <laughs> That's why there must be no flaws. No, uh, I think it was encumbrances. No, nothing that will make the festival short of perfect. Are you a CIA agent? It says no. Okay. So they just work with the feds, not with the CIA. She's in his passion, passionate speech, and Misha's enacting 
or really oddly fitting of them. Oh. Uh oh. Harako! Did you kill Boozle? <laughs> Maybe! What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I've never seen stream elements this good at just like... Communicating. Jesus Christ. God. I look over my shoulder and see Hanako peering timidly into the classroom. What's her body hidden behind the door? Hey, going to wink went again? Shut the fuck up, Misha. You're gonna scare her. Hanako blushes hard at Misha's straightforward jab. It was only in jest. <laughs> She's in a stairs that are probing. Causing Hako to look down and start backing away to the point where only her fingers can be seen wrapped nervously around the edge of the door. Is she showing her dislike of Hanako by association of her disliking of Lily? <laughs> it appears so, and Hako probably knows it as well. What is it, Hanako? Is Lily being here? Is Boozle safe? That's a tough one! <laughs> Uh, Hanako, no. Sorry. Sorry, haven't seen S Sato. She uh, ca came in the morning, though. Hanako keeps looking uneasily at Shizune, who stares back at her with her unusual studying, usual studying gaze. What's she trying to do? Of course, Shizune isn't going to look away, and she is intimidating enough as it is, so I can only imagine how terrifying Hanako would be. It's a little uncomfortable watching Hako's reaction to Shizune's normal behavior. This is what happens when two people at two different extremes meet, it seems. Is Boozle a Pokemon? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know where she is? Hmm. If she has any sense in her head, she's in a classroom working on, on her festival project. But who knows where that woman is roiling now at? Shut the fuck up. You need to find her. She was looking for you in the morning, but I guess you have you have missed each other. It's voice over a ditto. Uh <clears throat> Uh I will not explain uh that. Uh shit. I've been caught. <laughs> We're all dittos here, bit bread. Down under, we're all dittos. Ah, God! <laughs> she waits a little without answering the simple question, looking awfully like she she's not sure if it's proper to answer such a question. Yeah. I can come with you, if it's okay. Nako nods fr friend fractionally. Fractionally? I have never ever seen the use of that word. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to know if this is an actual proper word that people use. The word that they're looking for is frantically. I mean, fractionally also works. It's not a normal word to use. Fractionally. It's a proper word. I know it is. But slightly would work. Inconspicuously could also work. That's a tough one. Fractionally, though, that is not a normal word that people use in their everyday use. Still on guard, her shoulders st stiff like wood. Get the feeling that she might be more comfortable by herself after all. But it's too late to back off now. She has this really troubled expression she seems to wear almost constantly. One that makes me constantly on be on guard myself. I wonder why. I can't understand why she always seems so wary, or more like, why there could be a person like her. Still have no idea what how I should act around such a person. <sighs> Hisa, this is why you're the worst protagonist in the world. 
You'll have to wait. <laughs> it's dinner time soon. Were you planning to eat with Lily? If not sli slightly. See, slightly. Slightly works too. Fucking. So she must be trying to get in the cafeteria. Well, there's something of a dinner crowd. Just like the cafeteria is crowded during lunch. It's not as bad because dinner time is longer than lunch hour. I don't understand why Hanako would be discouraged from going. Will we eat with Lily? Yesterday would have been a yes, but today it's a yeah. Yes, you do. I hope so. Pick up my bag and we take our leave. Hanako skips a little to meet my initial pace, so I slow down to match her speed. It doesn't take long for us to be walking at a comfortable pace down the hallway. It almost feels like we're going for a stroll together. Something I can't say I've really done with a girl before. Shut the fuck up. Is Nightbot a dick? I look not so good. What the fuck in stream outs? Nightbot is just catching strays. God. The poor Sundere. Aiko doesn't seem to be thinking the same thing, though. Even though we are walking at the same pace, she never comes within arm's reach of me. I guess she's a little uncomfortable around me. Given how shy she is, there doesn't seem to be much help... Uh, much helping it. At least for now. By the time we arrive at the cafeteria, there's not much of a crowd there, but Lily's nowhere to be seen. Hako's head sinks even lower than usual. Have you looked somewhere else already? Just at the library. I was reading. So she does spend the classes she skips at the library. Ah, so not exactly a thorough search then. Well, if I had to guess, she'd be in her own class like she's in a set, right? Right. NC NCIS agent. <laughs> when the slightest n of nods, Hako agrees with my reasoning. Gosh, she's being so awkward. It's like a I need double layered silk gloves with padding to even in begin interacting with her. Some small talk might help her become a bit more used to me. It isn't hard to tell that the silence between us is hovering on the edge of both of our minds. So, you and Lily usually hang out together after class, right? You see, Secret Service member. Don't ask that! With <laughs> XD! Not sure what I expected her from her answer, or why I even asked the question. That much was rather obvious after all. She didn't seem like the type to cultivate a social circle either, so I suspect that Lily may be her only friend. Must be a pain being in different classes, I'm guessing. She gives a sharp, almost reflective, re reflexive nod. Compared to Lily's careful thought of, about her actions and speech, Hako hesitates to make her answers as prompt and as short as possible. Hastens to make her pro answers as prompt and short as possible. I don't know, what do you think, Brett? Do you think I played f football? American football in school. Only comes by the classroom, though. Even when she's busy. She gives her... A small smile as she says it, evidently appreciating the fact that Lily goes out of her way to help her. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. It's pretty cute. I don't know. That's why I asked Eight Ball. <laughs> I don't. Do you think I played American football? Do I seem like the type to play American football? Will Boozle return? Leaning towards no. Probably not. He's going to bed. So he's probably asleep already. Which makes sense. There isn't any need to say more. Both of us contend that the discussion reached an end. As we ascend the stairs back to the lobby, we are met by a group of students hanging downstairs like a school of fish moving from one feeding area to another. 
They seem to be keeping mostly to themselves. Before I can notice her doing so, Haka has moved around, around behind me. Hey, are you alright? Did you kidnap Muzo? Perhaps! <laughs> just, just keep going. Students pass us w without as much of a second glance. Hako takes up position to my side again. As we enter the building, her mo momentary reprieve from her anxiety all but snatched away. As we climb towards third floor, she doesn't seem to relax. It isn't as if I've known a shy person before, or even shy girls. And Hako seems to be pretty far beyond what I called normal in her fear of other people. <laughs> I mean, she's part for the course for my streams, but... Are we friends? Who knows? God damn! Oh! If it weren't for Lily acting as her mediator, I doubt Hako would, would have ever been able to walk beside me like this. She seems completely shut down in the presence of others. The rest of the walk up to Lily's classroom continues in strange silence, while I rue her inability to socialize at all. After we make our way up the stairs, the noise coming from Lily's classroom is audible from halfway down the hallway. I wasn't expecting such a din at all. Mayhaps. <laughs> well, I guess we found her. This wasn't hard. Did Hako come here first, then come for come to me for backup, I wonder? Well, if that's true, then at least she's starting to trust me a little. That can only be a good thing. Eventually, the two of us reach the door to class 3-2, three, three, with Hako less than suddenly positioning herself behind me. I open the door. Inside is a hive of activity. Seemingly every student in the class is talking at once as they hur work hurriedly on their separate tasks. Are you evil? Maybe. God, that, this is like the best streak of stream elements answers I've ever seen. God. Going about the paint cans, decorations, and banners being made, it must be for the upcoming school festival. I guess my priority should be finding Lily. Hmm. There. Finding her among the din was surprisingly easy. Not the least because of her looks. Uh, I wonder if this one still works. Will you get some sleep? Outlook doesn't look so good. Oh! Fuck you, Nightbot. Holy! 10%! By the way, that Nightbot can go up to 100%. Stream moments can only go up to 0%. Alright. Nightbot had a potential of 100, but chose 10. I'm sorry, Brett, but, uh... I'm gonna have to get the butter, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but... There is only one answer to, to this problem. <laughs> With a couple of students gathered around her as she stands at, at the front of the class, she seems to be in charge of the preparations, or at least busy organizing them. Carefully noting a path through the various students hunched over the floor for lack of desk space, I raise a hand entirely out of habit as we reach Lily. That. Fair enough. Hi, Lily. She perks her head up as she breaks off talking to a noticeably smaller girl, who must be her classmate, trying to listen as best she can. Sorry, who? Ah, sorry. He's so. I've Hanako too. Hi. <laughs> How did you get 80% on both of them? That's fucking bullshit. Hi. He's pretty skittish, considering the number of people around. It isn't too hard to figure out why. Lily takes a mon moment's pause to assess the uh, situation before turning to the other students once again. For the moment, please ask M M Maria 
For real? What? Vuzo ended up with Kenji? Oh no. <laughs> Kenji's busy with painting one of the banners. Kenji's busy with painting one of the banners. Sorry. Fuck off, Kenji. A quick nod and she bounces finger... And she bounces off. Fingers carefully sliding along the wall's face for orientation. Wait, Kenji? That Kenji? I quickly turn about, leaning to the side to see past Hanako. Sure enough, in the corner of the room, Kenji's hunched over a sheet of cloth as he paints it. His eyes remain only inches from the brush. Remind me of how close he has to be to make up my face when I met him. Good. Fuck Kenji. Sorry about that. Our class doesn't have many students with the impartial eyesight. So uh, they're in high demand. That's right. Class 3-2 was specifically for students with poor vision. Preparing for the festival must be atrocious for them. Ah, that, that's false dream elements. I will kill him. Though, I guess technically the law stops me from killing him. Also, because we're going on a route that avoids Ka uh, Kenji. Need a hand? I'd give you help if you need some. Maybe Hanako could, could too. A chance set her mind on something would do her good. I doubt she has the courage to ask outright. She qu quickly nods an affirmation, affirmation afterwards, so I'm confident I made the right move. <laughs> Lily gives a no notable sigh of relief. Ah, that's good. This might actually get finished before everyone goes off to dinner now. Would you be able to help the person painting the main banner? It's a big task for him to do, but there's no one else. But no one else can help. Will I stop getting ads? Boss says doubtful. <laughs> Genji, sure. She seems surprised that I know him. Can't really blame her. I take it you have met. My rooms are in the dorm room right next to each other. Hard to miss each other, really. Well, that's good to see you're getting friends so fast. Friend. Wonder if that's the right word to use for him. Let's not mention the fact that we- that I've seen him naked. Hako's silence during the proceedings reminds me of the reason I put her up- put her up to helping in the first place. We'll go help him then. He knows what- what needs doing, right? That's right. Ask if- if you have- just ask if you have any problems. Can Kenji die? <laughs> God damn. Street Moments is just being fucking Sundari again. God damn. And just when we were getting memes out of her. Out of them. Robots don't have pronouns. Uh, <clears throat> Coursing in uh, ascent. You'll have to wait. Holy Dream Elements does not hold the fucking trigger. Jesus Christ. Hako and I begin another trek across the classroom. Genji sits crushed on the floor, his gaze fixed on the white calico in front of him. Hey, Kenji. No answer. Continues dragging his paints, pink silk brush along the large half painted ca can kanji that he, that he sketched on the sheet in pencil. Kenji. Ah, oh, what? Who is it? His three moments a bitch. Outlook not so good. <laughs> this is the way he he treats class members. It's no wonder he's working on this alone. Hey, it's me, Hisa, from the. Right, right. I know that man. What are you doing here, though? His dismissive attitude annoys me. Don't ask me that. What the fuck? He must be the type to really get focused on his work. Hating to be disturbed by anyone till he's done, I suppose. While we talk, the sound of Hanako's footsteps as she walks out from behind me reminds me that she's here. <clears throat> I was just going to help with the banner. Hanako and I, that is. Hello. Oh, uh, hey. 
I guess that's okay. As soon as Hanako enters the equation, his meter takes a complete a complete about face. His son Fox hospitality is slightly unsettling. Oh, right, women. On second thoughts, this may not have been a great idea after all. Hako and I grudgingly set ourselves down on the opposite side of the cloth banner to Kenji, noting a several s the several small paint tints on the ground around it. Into an active volcano. Ooh. Class 2-3-2. Th uh, noodle stall? You guys are selling noodles at the festival on Sunday? Yeah, some stalls outside or something. Or something. His non-committal nature sparks a f fair amount of suspicion on my behalf. The task at hand comes first, though. So, how do you want to split this? We do borders while you do the text, or do you want to switch and do the borders? Who knows? Cut down stream elements. You can have noodles. I am the god here, and you may have noodles. If you wish. Next is mine. You do borders. Yeah, surprisingly... Strong feelings on the topic. As I reach to grab a brush, I know Hako knows Hako's already debating between colors to use. <laughs> Are you God? You really think that would work? Holy! I don't know what that means, but it feels oddly threatening. <laughs> By the time I put the brush to cloth, she's already started on a delicate pattern. Looks like my idea of taking her mind off everyone around her worked. With a dark blue stroke, the three of us silently get to work. Not before Kenji takes advantage of Hanko's working to lean against me, towards me, and whisper consp conspiratorially, though. Are you not God? <laughs> God damn! It, it, it straight up gave you the same answer again. To the same question. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest. I've never seen stream elements this on beat for stream before. Holy. Okay, man. Why are you here? I could just wanted to uh, some help finding Lily. That's all. He apparently disapproves of my motives. Hey, Kenji. I have a uh, fun little item here. Have you heard of a stick of dynamite before? Will you die of laughter? Probably not. Oh, you don't even get an answer. Hey Kenji, take this stick of dynamite. I mean, uh, birthday candle. I need it to be lit. I hear it. Looks like I misjudged you. No comment. Ooh. You're betraying them, aren't you? Going deep undercover? I should have guessed. Letting the truth slip by him would be probably better than outright lying or annoying him in any case. Is that why you're here? Obviously. It sucks. There's no better way to get intel than going in yourself. You gotta stick together, man. This is a harsh school. A harsh world. Yes, yeah, very harsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He misses my true meaning as he leans back, satisfied and sympathetic to his cause. I better get back to work. His voice over to God. That's a tough one. I, I don't know what the implication of that answer is. Finished. <clears throat> Looks like I, I am too. Good job. Two of us connected at the lines of our patterns. Mine being as close a copy as I can match of hers. <laughs> With a grunt, I lever myself from the floor and look around. Is Boozle a god? That's tough. <laughs> Same answer again. What the fuck? <laughs> With a grunt, I lever myself up from the ground and look around. Aside from Hanako and myself, only Kenji left finishing off a sign, as well as Lily and a couple students talking among themselves in the classroom. Look at my watch. It's no surprise. It's getting pretty late. Need a hand? After my hand to Hanako, which uses to get herself up. Mayhaps. <laughs> I mean, you do have God in your name, so it would make sense. As she does, I can't help but glance at her wrist. 
if her scars extend even to there. Just how much of her body was burned? She had a pinch of guilt about, however. She quickly covers her wrist with her other hand. Looks good, doesn't it? She looks surprised for a moment, before noticing I meant the banner. Tess, I guess. Her smile shows that, that she feels a slight sense of pride in the result, just as I do. Is Kenji a dick? Three moments is just l telling lies right now. With the slow floor significantly. Hold on. I can do a funny thing. I'm sorry, there's no lying here. It, it admitted to lying, so uh, message deleted. <laughs> That's right, I'm the fucking god here. Other than the Twitch moderators. Welcome back again for the stream being flagged. How are you doing? With the floor significantly neater for the decorations being placed on desks and shelves, it's much easier to get Lily as we cross the room. Get to Lily as we cross the room. We finish the banner. I guess that's all that needs to be done. Lily gives an appreciative nod. Thank you, Hisa, Hanako. Is there any way I can help you? It's fine. Beats sitting in my room studying at any rate. I don't mind either. <laughs> She nods before suddenly remembering one last person. Oh, is Kenji still there? As I open my mouth, Kenji gives the answer from the other side of the room. Yeah, just finished. He carefully places a sign onto an empty section of the shelf to dry, before quickly walking past us and out the door. See ya, man. Bye. Fucking. You don't think so. Is Kenji a god? You really think that would work? No, it wouldn't. The remaining two students say their goodbyes to Lily before taking their cue to leave, leaving only the three of us. Well, I guess that's everyone. I hope we don't ha have to do anything like that again. Working past school time? Indeed. The class's plans this year were amb ambitious. Maybe too ambitious. Will I find love? Never! Holy shit, that is... Probably the most unhinged answer I've ever heard Stream Elements give. This stall looks nice, though. She's right. She has a lot of work, uh, work's gone into them. My, my. I'm sure a lot of us would be glad to hear that. At least now there's not much work to do into the festival itself. It's getting pretty late. Should we go? <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Are you going to the dorms as well, Hisa? Yeah, I guess I'll take along. <laughs> and I'll... Will I get a girlfriend someday? <laughs> it's just fucking barking! God damn it. Ah, stream elements. Ah. The nighttime lighting really makes the gardens look quite different. Compared to the usual look of lush greenery, Things are much, much more calm. Girlfriend someday. Don't ask that. Feels bad, man. Holy. Being that it's so late, the lack of students around probably helps. The odd one or two can be seen scurrying to and from the dorms, trying to eek the most out. Uh... Eek? Eek! Get your dream car. Oh! Oh! I think that's the most scathing use of that one. You can feel. The use of that word there. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Okay, Breadman. Not only is eek a proper word, they used it properly in this sentence, but it has an Oxford Dictionary definition. Which in this co context would be obtain or create, but just barely. Are you shitting me? They could have used thousands of words or phrases. Eek is the word, by the way. They could have used thousands of English words for that section, but they chose eek. Yeah, it's an Oxford Dictionary word, but they chose eek. I'm more pissed about this than the other one, because there were thousands of words that could have e easily replaced eek in this sentence, but they chose eek. Uh. Yeah, no, I, I have no doubt now knowing that the people who made this game were fucking 4chan users. Holy shit. This is the most egregious use of the English language I have ever seen. This is like if people were told to make an English essay out of making a fucking video game and just pulled out, pulled out a dictionary and tried to use the words in there. You'll have to wait, probably, yeah. To be fair, I also don't have a dream car, so... Could be scrolling to and fr They also could have used to and fro. Whatever. The dorms trying to eke the most out of their approaching curfews, but no more. All that can be heard is our footsteps in addition to Lily's cane, regularly... Gently tapping the ground in front of her. I think, like, my drink card would be... I don't know, either like a Mustang or just a small car. I don't know. I'm not a car guy. If you want cars, you, talk, you probably would rather talk to my younger brother. He knows more about cars than I do. Oh, God, Stream Elements, stop being so cruel. Jesus Christ. It's nice to finally be able to relax a bit after the mad dash during school. Without even noticing it, a uh, small yawn. Ugh. Tired? Yeah, still not getting used to the flow of things, I guess. The uh, thing with Shizune took me uh, off guard, though. Grip my teeth a little at the candid mention of... Uh, their rather public spat. That said, I do want to sort out what in the world was behind it. Ah, uh, about that. Get their dream car. Oh! Stream moments, please. I'm sorry for making being so public. She's and I go back some ways. Her voice seems irritated as she remembers. She's and I. Obviously unwilling to discuss it any further. I glance at Hanako for her views on this. Her expression is surprisingly evasive and hard, difficult to read. Either way, I guess her apologizing for it is something. Even if my curiosity goes unanswered. I'll be glad once the fence is over, over in any case. The change of topics welcome. Clearing the th thickening air quickly. I can imagine... My old school's festivals were a lot more low-key than this. Yamaki stresses the idea of, of a school community, so that staff likes to make our festivals in such special occasions. Is, not, is there a grim not related to... Not related to who loves me? Oh, girl. Yesterday would have been a yes, but today it's a yes. Yeah. I mean, that's nice and all, but... And yet, the students are the ones who do the work. What an unfair world. Akko and Lily both chuckle in agreement, saving the fact that, that none of the staff are around to hear our grumbling. I suppose it comes from a strict all-girls school helped me a bit with ya Yama Yamaku. Compared to there, Yamaku is a lot more relaxed. That go a way towards explaining her well-read speech and behavior in any case. 
Who knows? Oh, God. The stream home almost. Please, like, don't break the poor man's heart. Jesus. As we come to the dark forest, eventually comes time to leave for our respective rooms. See you, Lily. Hanukkah. The, the two both give polite knots before sending off to the wounds dor the dorms, just next to the guys. <laughs> just next to the guys. Just as to be expected of such an arrangement, there's a staff member casually patrolling uh, around outside to prevent any nighttime shenanigans. I walk past him, I walking past him, I quickly stretch my arms and rub my neck. Both quite sore after having working on the floor for so long. Before walking to my room. Oh <laughs> <laughs> fucking elements, God. It is incredibly cruel. It feels good to have direction though. After so long in the hospital, the everyday facts of studying, homework, and teachers seem almost a blessing. I guess if things continue like this, my time at Yama Yamaku might turn out okay. Adhering to the nurse's nagging voice in the back of my head, I set my alarm to wake me up early enough to go jogging again. They promise and I'm going to keep it. Besides, Emmy is bound to rat on me if I don't show up. That's not all that bad. <gasps> we made it to Act 2! Fuck Kenji! Right? Th this is Act 2? Please, God. No! No! Get the ending of the game that they want? <laughs> Fuck you, Stream Elements. I will get a good ending in this game. My morning alarm goes off, and I flail about uselessly for a while, until I remember that I, that I decided to give morning runs another shot. I don't know if this was my greatest idea. I'm determined to keep going. This is about my health, after all. Sure, things haven't been great lately for me, but that has made existing so intolerable that I'm not going to try everything I can to stay healthy. Besides, it's all about asserting some kind of control over this thing, right? If I can match that, well, I can match anything. At least, that's why I keep telling myself. Oh, fuck you, Stream Elements. I will get the best ending in the game. I will find it. Once again, it would appear that I'm not alone on my run. Emmy has appeared, apparently been here for some time. Looks like she's already worked up a good sweat. It's what in the hell she do does she come down here anyway? Oh. Oh. Where's you? Well, sorry I do my, my witch force for Stitch force. The voice of PC survive stream. No comment. Ooh. I'm glad that you remember that Sal isn't the strongest. How's she doing? Fuck. God. Forgot about that. Uh, is this one still plugged in? It is. Apologies for the noise. Just, uh, airing out my PC at the moment. It'll just take a moment. We just had to wait for... For the fan to continue play playing over it to get rid of all the things in it. It's mostly just there. Will Emmy grow her legs back? What the fuck is the pogging? God, that is Honestly probably the most disheartening thing I've ever seen Stream Elements do is just give out the pog to everything. Ah, it's you. And if I see you again. Why is that? Well, not many people actually managed to come for a second try. No comment. Holy shit. <laughs> she 
She frowns, seemingly annoyed by a passing thought. Are you kidding? <laughs> Street Elements is just getting annoyed with you now. <laughs> this doesn't look good for... Probably not. She frowns, seemingly annoyed by... Uh, I was like the West, West Attract team, for instance. Still, it was only supposed to be on a volunteer basis, so it's not that big of a shock. And I guess it's pretty early in the morning. A shrug, and it suddenly appears that she's forgotten what she's talking about. The frown disappears entirely. It seems she snapped back to her previous train of thought. So, come on then. What? You'll hear one again, right? Well, yeah. So, come on. Outlook not so good. Oh no! Uh, let me check if my fan's working. Okay, it's not working overtime. That's good. But it is warm to the touch, so... Might be a bit concerning. So come on! I find myself suddenly grabbed and yanked onto the track. Things seem to be set on mirroring yesterday's run. That is, I seem to be struggling. Well, eh... Emmy moves with an effortlessness that I find enviable. I don't think so. I mean, I am a voice, but it is an explosion. It's incredibly bothersome to be so easily worn out. I know I should be patient, working towards things gradually, but it's difficult to stay positive about this. We round the track and start on our second lap. Emmy seems to have grown impatience keeping pace with me and begins to pull away. This is where I gave up yesterday. Will I be able to do more? Ooh. Okay. One of these probably leads to an ending with Emmy. And potentially kill my character. Or it could lead to uh... Oh. Did she kill voiceover? It says Pog, but <laughs> who knows? I'm just trying to read the thing. Is there one choice that changes it? Oh, help the council changes it to a bad route. So the start of the switch is help the council, I think. Okay. So... When it comes to the council, forget the council. Then I have to admit it and go into town. If I do that, I get...
fuck does 7A and 7B mean? I don't understand what it means. Fucking go go to bed if you have to. There, bread. Don't stick around if you if you're feeling tired. Ah, go for it. I mean, dying is a better ending than hanging out with Kenji. So, what am I doing here? I really just get fold and let Emmy pull ahead. I speed up. Second lap is done quickly. And without even considering it, I kept going. Nope. Go to bed now. Your god has made your decision for you. If you require sleep, you go to sleep. There is no other option. Emmy looks over her shoulder at me and grins. See how it go on? I wouldn't... want... you... to think that... I'm out of shape. <sighs> Emmy laughs, without breaking her stride, no less, and speeds up even more. Stream out, no! Bad. Bad. Red, go to sleep. It's alright, you don't have to be around for the entire stream. God, this stream is mostly just being me talking to chat instead of me playing this fucking game. It's cute, and I love it, and I want to beat it. But at the same time, I have not progressed very much. When we got to, like, the next thing, before we continued. <laughs> but we are at the four-hour mark. Eh, might as well. Probably end here. Runtime, six hours. Whew. I love this, by the way. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I want to quit. But thanks for hanging out. Now that, now you have no excuse. You have to go sleep now. <laughs> uh, uh, how do I want to raid? I don't know. I'm always indecisive about these things. I never have an excuse to raid anybody. I don't know if I should do something new, if I... <laughs> if I should stick with what I know. Nine All right, sure, why not? All right, see you there, Brad. And thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's always fun having someone to talk to during streams. All right. Bye-bye.